<laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to Logic Curves today. Can you hear me okay? Technical fucking difficulties, man. What the heck? Nobody can hear nothing. Everything is just spinning. Very upset. Hello. Hello. I don't see my thing. Can you guys hear me? Hello. Hello. I don't see my thing. Can you guys hear me? Oh my God. Well, I'm just going to go for it. You guys, welcome to Larger Curves today. I hope you're having a great day. Um, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button on your way in. If you haven't already, hit that bell so you can get notified next time we upload a video over here at Larger Curves. You know, I do all kinds of things. I do reality TV. We talk about how to make money. We talk about how to live your best life. We talk about business stuff. We talk about family stuff. I review shows. I give my opinion on a lot of stuff over here on Larger Curves. So I really want to thank you guys for taking your time to come over here today. I know that um, we are... Ooh, sorry. I know that we are a little behind because um, I was having a little technical difficulties and Mercury's not even in retrograde, you guys. I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, my internet is fine. My computer is new. But for some reason, everything is spinning and pausing. So while we listened to the interview that was done by Jax and Brittany um, with Tom Schwartz, then we'll come back and... Um, then we'll come back and talk about it a little more. Okay. So thanks for bearing with me. There was a couple technical difficulties, but we're going to go ahead and start listening to the interview with Tom Schwartz and Jax. And then we're going to break it down. Okay. Thanks for coming through. Let's see. Now let me present. Let's see. So if I do that. Oh, it doesn't like it. Did not like it. Doesn't like being open. Okay, I'll close it. Oh, awesome, Sarah. Thanks for being here. Nice. I appreciate you for being here. The um was having some technical difficulties. Can you hear me okay? Or am I breaking up? Can you put a one in the yeah, what's happening exactly? Can you put a one in the chat if I'm breaking up? And if I'm if it's fine, put a five in the chat. No, I have the interview. I have the interview. I just think that my service is spotty for some reason um if you can hear me fine then i'm going to go ahead and start this podcast so that we can listen to it later and go over it let's see where do i have it it's right here okay it was a long interview you guys i'm going to turn this up and get listening be okay fine just so you know excellent podcast abroad yes <laughs> we are with jackson Brittany. when reality hits how's everybody doing we have a very special guest on today mr tom schwartz who we love so much jackson's man, man what's it called best man My in our wedding man. hello tom thanks for being here today 
I love you both. It's an honor to be here. I love New York City. Shout out New York City, my favorite city on the planet. I know. I, I, you told me you were coming here Friday. I think we leave on Thursday, so we're gonna we're gonna be crossing each other in, in the sky. I think. Yes, and Tom, thanks so that. much for doing this with us. I know everybody is dying to hear a little bit of your side of the story, and I'm sure you're so tired of talking about it, just like everyone else. So we appreciate you. I owe him a big steak dinner. Coming in. Big steak dinner. Yeah. Drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just looking what I've gleaned from the internet and being in the bars with, with everybody who you know watches the show every night is people are a little fatigued, but also they're just like this thing sort of just captivated the nation. It's so bizarre and fucked up, and it's like, hold on. By the way, should I get my Theosaurus so I can mix up a nice little world word salad for you guys? Uh, yeah. Please no. Me and Jacks are not the ones for that. No, we're, not, we're not. We're not very wordy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm, I'm a country girl. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm just, I got a, 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 community, a, a community college education here, so. <laughs> if that, right. if that. If that, yeah, right. Jack Sprint, uh, everyone listening, uh, there'll be no grandiloquence, and also this will not be a journey into talking a lot without saying a little, um, without saying anything, but I'll do my best to be concise and not ramble. You got and, it, Tom. Uh, Okay. Hey, by the uh, way, I know, Tosh Schwartz, we just love you. I so I, I want to know, guys. why do you think that this did get so big? Like, what? Oh, we're getting right into it. Right yeah, into it. I guess it's so well, crazy how big it got. Wait, can I, before we dive in, can I, can I plug myself stars on Mars for free? Uh, for yeah. free last <laughs> oh, yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah. ask you about that, but go we for it. We were going to get into that, but go ahead. No, we don't have to get into it. Just like, I, I just want to say there was such a strange, wonderful, bizarre experience. And I'm so... No, you can't. You can. You can lead a horse to water, but into her like. Um, but we yeah. also wanted to give you the the space to talk free. I know you guys were super close, and I know. I, thank know you. you. I've we said agree. this a million times. I go. You got to stop the butt after and the like and just, and and it contacts and and I know I see I, I know Tom is like itching to tell more of his side of the story, but like when you have a full blown affair, I'm going to say it again. Your side of the story becomes obsolete. Yes, one hundred percent. I agree with you. It becomes obsolete. That's and 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 he, I listen. I don't. Tom will never listen to this, but like, he needs to lose the ego. Yes, he needs to bring heart, humility, and just say I'm sorry. Not I'm sorry, but exactly. Thank know you. you. I've we said agree. this a million times. Like, well, you got to stop the but after and the like, and just just say, hey, you know what? I effed up. I effed up. I'm sorry. I screwed up. I'm a human being. You know. And move well, on. I'm glad to hear this from you, though, Tom, because I know you guys were super close, and I know this has affected your life and your businesses and everything like that as well. So, you know, and we know you're a good guy, and we also I, felt like you were put in a hard, really hard position. Um, but we yeah. also wanted to give you the, the space to talk freely without being, like, talked over or, or anything like that to where you can, like, say your piece. And Because I know that you love yeah. Ariana, too, and I, I'm sure that you did not want anything to happen to her like this no i mean i just feel terrible about the whole the, the whole thing the way it played out i i feel ugh. you know everyone's like you're complicit you're just as guilty as him and i'm like you're not I'm as not. you're not his father though you can't you can you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink and i know that i know you said something i know you said hey listen you need to come clean but you can only do so much and at the end of the day it's not really your job but we need to let like we need to hear it from tom okay, because he hasn't had no, a but, chance to to say that's his okay. side, I feel like. Yeah, but, and that's okay. But Jax, I'm going to piggyback off what you just said. And like, just to give people a little context, like I, I was going through the most intense year of my entire life. My father fell, hit his head. He had a brain bleed, pulmonary embolisms. He had he ended up having a tracheotomy at one point. He had a 5% chance of living. He was in three different hospitals for seven months. And it was just, it honestly, it was one of the most intense experiences of my life, all while trying to open the bar, you know, we, like we went way over budget we're behind schedule my brother got diagnosed with testicular cancer so he's doing chemotherapy my other brother's in rehab um other some other stuff that i am not comfortable talking about in my family but yeah. i get the reason the reason i'm saying this right now is not to try to evoke sympathy if anyone's listening it's just to try to give you a little idea of how little bandwidth I had, I was just like, like my, my, my adrenal glands were fucking fried. I felt like I was in constant flight or fight and maybe, maybe, maybe selfishly, I, I was self-involved by necessity. Like opening a bar is fucking intense. And when you couple that with what Tom Sandoval, the narrative that he had told me, you know, yeah. this whole 
He sold me a, a shit bill of goods, apparently, because, you know, Ariana's side of the story is completely different. He was telling me that he had been trying to break up with her over the course of many months. He tried, I think, said three times. Um, he had this whole, by the way, I, I'm not breathing life into this narrative if Ariana ever hears this because I don't want to do that. But, you know, his version of the story is that she treats him like shit. She belittles him. They have no intimacy and that they're more or less just roommates now, you know? That's fine. And, and, yeah, but as a, somebody, exactly. I, I will say as somebody who is was viewing it because we weren't on the show, so we were actually like on the other side of it this year. So we have a little bit of a different perspective. Um, but as somebody who was viewing it, it just looked like he only started saying this stuff because he was like trying, like he was um, like trying to blame Ariana for what was happening. Like that's yeah, what totally. it looks like. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like he was trying to blame her, um, for him doing this whole affair, which is insane. Brit, I, I'm, Brit, I'm glad you said that because it's really effed up when people, when people try to shift the blame in, in a yes. situation like this, I agree. you know? You know, like the, to 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 imply, like you should have known all the signs were there. That's vile. Yes, you know? and that um, was really vile. hard to watch. And I've talked with Ariana, and I know that that like upset her having like seen this know. stuff because she did. You know, after finding out that you did know about things, um, you know, she yeah. kind of yeah. felt like you were like involved more so than. Yeah, I mean, if you watch the show, it looks like my world revolves around Tom Sandoval. I know. Everyone outside of this little world, you know, the show's very authentic and the editors do a fucking awesome job. But yes. like you would think my life revolves around fucking Tom Sandoval and, and, and Raquel and like it could not be further from the truth. Like I, I'm Tom Schwartz. I did not have an affair with Ariana. Right. I, I'm not, you know, like I like this is not my life. But yes, I, I'm an unfortunate confidant. And um, yeah, man, it's like, it, it, you know, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't every time I try to like recount the whole timeline i end up looking like a bigger idiot because it's not my story to tell and no matter what they show on the show whatever tom or raquel says no one's gonna ever know that full story except for tom sandoval and raquel i know you know all right we all know as parents that it can be hard to find creative ways to keep your kids busy challenged and off their screens luckily this little co promo code is reality free shipping guys you hear that free shipping it's yeah that's a big right deal that's shipping a huge deal 50 <laughs> percent off of your first month plus free shipping so every scoop is packed with 75 vitamins minerals and whole food source ingredients of the highest quality i like this a lot because sometimes i don't get exactly what i need every day my diet I'm like on the go obviously being parents we don't really get to just got rid of all that stuff and started just doing ag1 and it's been a but i can tell you guys from my point of view we can like maybe like yes i would love to hear from your point of view because on the reunion tom sandoval said that you knew from january and you said that you knew from august so i think that maybe yeah. you should clear up something from that because i feel like everybody's like what is happening and everybody at the reunion yeah, totally. i know is saying that you guys didn't get your story straight and this and that. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. We, we never, like, we never, like, it wasn't some sort of, like, secret behind the scenes. Like, if people think Tom Sandoval was, like, coaching me on what to say, which could not be further from the truth. You know what I mean? I'm off in my little Tom Schwartz bubble. But from what I know is that they hooked, by the way, I threw out a random date. Just because everyone's like, you better get your story straight. We're coming for you. You better get your time on straight. I'm like, you guys, I did not mark this on my fucking calendar, okay? <laughs> I'm absolutely consumed with my own life. And I'll tell you what I know, but I threw out a random date. I have no idea what he told me, but it was around sometime in like late August-ish. I don't know. Sometime in the summer. After did you the know? Wedding. Oh, you so hundred percent. You found out after the wedding, not before the wedding. Yes, we yes. we had but, theories that Tom Sandoval like was encouraging you to make out because now we're viewers, okay? So we got a different view of everything. So we had totally. we had we were thinking that maybe Sandoval was like trying to have you like kiss her to throw off the scent from what was going on between them two. Yeah, no, that's not true. And by the way, I mean, Which we makes can get it even a little bit. If it's not true. Now it's even a little bit more weird. Why would he do that? Yeah, no, it's not true. We, me and Raquel, like, we listen, we never had real chemistry. Yeah. Right? It was no, never going know. anywhere. But, like, I guess I was, I was like, kind of a sad little sack of shit. And it was, like, I guess it was convenient. It just was such an innocent kiss. And had I known, like, it would have hurt Katie so much, I would have never done that. I you know. know. I, I, she really I, I got really, upset. It really was sad to see, honestly. 
I know. And, 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 you know, you know, my knee jerk reaction was like discount her feelings and minimize it. Cause like, I was thinking from my perspective, if I had divorced Katie and then five months later, she kissed someone in our friend group, even in spite of our informal agreement, not to hook up with like people in the friend group, I would be like, you know what? Good for you. Hell yeah. Do but you I really know, think you would be like that? Cause I don't think you 100, would. 100%. I think so. if, I divorced, I think so. if I divorced her and it was like five months later and I had been dating other girls and everything like, but anyways, I, I don't want to continue to like minimize it. Cause it really hurt Katie's feelings. Yes, I know. I'm sorry for that. But, but like sometime around that time, I still don't know where or when the first time they hooked up is apparently it was in a car outside on like outside of Tom's house or something. And, and then he went and, and knocked I, on I, the door to get in the house and she had to answer. Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh I, I, so I did know about, I knew that they had a one night stand and you told me this. Well, apparently listen, I don't know what's going to come out, but it's looking like it now it's like starting to look like it just never stopped. You know, yeah. I like it. is that going to be the big news? I mean, it, we're, we haven't seen the final reunion just yet. Obviously, this is going to come out tomorrow, tomorrow day is. of the reunion. So um, we're um, so like wondering what is that going to be? Tom? Do you know what the big reveal is? I have no idea and I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. if I had to guess, it would probably just be that they never stopped hooking up or maybe they hooked up even earlier than they first That's, said that they did. That was my guess. That was my guess too. Uh, yeah, yeah, you didn't say anything. yeah, it's nothing that I didn't think was already going to happen. No, it's, so. it's okay. Um, it's That's okay. what everybody yeah. in the yeah. world is speculating is that it's going to be like that they were hooking up even when she was with James. That's what a lot of people are thinking. I've seen on the internet. Yeah. And, I, and I just to I'm, uh, piggyback off to the Katie situation, I'm sorry, because this is a question I had. What is your current uh, situation with Katie right now? Just because we were just talking uh, about that how is everything going with you two well i still love her i mean respectfully not like in love with her but you know i still love her and care about her a lot yeah. and we're cordial but she's so busy opening up her sandwich shop which looks fucking awesome so props to uh ariana and katie because yes. i know how hard it is and uh, how many moving pieces and how much time energy sweat blood love goes into that so shout out to them so we're cordial but you know it's not like we're bffs we're not like going out and getting dinner but we're cool and um yeah, that's, I don't know. That was one thing that made me really sad. It's like, uh, cause we had, you guys know, you know, we were together 12 years. And I we know. Had this yeah, I know. Complex. We were both in your all's wedding and, uh, yeah. you know, we loved you guys and we always want the best yeah. for both of you, no matter what. So I know, totally. but I know you also went through the divorce and had to sell your house. And I know that that was hard on both of you guys. Yeah, that's another thing. It's like, yeah, I, so I'm, I'm starting to jump all over the place. But yeah, so I was like, I, yeah, getting the divorce, even though it was amicable, it's stressful to get divorced and move all of your shit out of your house into a little sad bachelor pad. And it's like that with my family completely f***ed up and it just opening the bar and being like four months behind schedule over leveraging ourselves financially. It's like it was just very intense. And again, the reason I, I bring this up is just to so people can get an idea of how like how consumed I was in my own little world. And maybe, maybe that's one of my regrets is that I just, I was so kind of like nonchalant about this. And I just, I just accepted everything that Sandoval told me about it. You know, why would I, why would I not believe him? You know? So to been, make things clear really fast, Tom, cause you yeah. said that he did tell you he had a one night stand. So did he, did he it, tell yeah. you about the one night stand before Sheena's wedding? No, and after, then no, told it was you after the, it was, it was after the wedding. And then, um, and then we had like this moment where we sat down and he's like, dude, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm losing. I feel like me and Ariana are inevitably going to break up. Maybe I'm naive for saying this and people are probably going to gag. But from my point of view, all the shit going on in my life, the little bandwidth I had to assign to his life, it just seemed like things kind of went back to normal for a while. It didn't feel weird around them, you know? And like, yeah, we, we did, we all hung out, but it was, they, they were good. They always, they always had people around them as buffers in hindsight like i feel like i kind of got used a little bit i really do I, feel I, like i got oh, that feels like he got used. i 100 i i was just trying to tap into that i i fully on believe that because i feel like and i'm not just saying this because i'm your friend but i do feel like tom sandoval does take advantage of you of, you, of your kindness and and, and I, I, you are he take he 100 does you can tell me that i'm lying but I 100% believe it. I'm never wrong. You know that. I'm never wrong. <laughs> I honestly think he takes a little bit of advantage of your kindness. With not only just that, I think with the bar, with the scheduling, with the him going on tour, and you guys are in the middle of opening a bar, and just I think with a lot of things, not just this in general, but I'm talking about this goes back 12 years with a lot of different things. I think he kind of takes your kindness, you know, and kind of uses it a little bit. I mean, do you agree or you disagree? Uh, I do. I, in this in this case in particular, I really feel like he exploited me 
Um, because I, I, you know, I do love Tom, and, and I, I, I took to heart everything he told me about like Ariana. Like I, and now, now that I've heard her side of the story, yeah, I'm just, she, it's she is like vehemently denied all of this stuff. Like, oh yeah. He, he insinuated that I don't, there's certain things I don't want to say anymore. No, I, I don't think, want to bring, say, I say think, what you're comfortable with. Yeah, say what you're comfortable yeah. with. But I, I definitely think that he is saying a whole different side of what she was saying. I mean, she was like, we were, he was talking about that they broke up on Valentine's Day. That was not true. Like she it completely denies all of that. And I believe Ariana, I hot, think that hot Sandoval. Tub, open relationship in a hot tub. I think that Sandoval was trying to just make himself look better for the things that he did to her. And that's my honest opinion because he is like one of the most hated people right now because this went so crazy. So I think that he might be trying to use all anything he can to, to make her himself. look bad. And that's so terrible because she was the one that was so hurt in this situation. And I do, yeah, think, I do think he he does the coaching thing because we were watching the reunion on the way here to, uh, from the airport and the, how mad he got at the cameras for not wanting to film him with her by himself for one minute. Raquel, it's like why Raquel. couldn't? Yeah, he was wanted to film. He wanted to hang out with Raquel during the lunch break without for, film cameras while, while you were doing pushups. <laughs> uh, uh, he wanted. No, I'll, I'll joke aside. We'll get into that in a second. But while joking aside, he wanted to be with Raquel for a good five minutes, and he's telling the producers this. Can I just be alone? Why do you need the cameras not to be there unless you're coaching her on yeah. what to say? There's no reason for the cameras to go away yep. because you should be able to say whatever you want in front of everybody because that's the show we signed up for. Well, and they said, <laughs> Raquel said something like, I can't remember word for word what she said, but it was so embarrassing to watch. She said something like, we haven't lied about anything other than the affair. I was, I was like, like oh, oh my God. gosh, that's like everything. <laughs> so what do you that's mean? A that's, a <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, um, that's a big one. Well, no, but everything. I, listen, I agree with everything you guys are saying. Um, I mean, I know we started talking about the timeline, and then uh, I guess in hindsight, even when I didn't know, I knew because like, e e listen, even if they didn't even if they did stop hooking up until he, you know around like january he came to me and told me that he's in love and it's like real deal and he's gonna you know he's 100 percent just breaking up with ariana he's already tried before but like this is not like just like a fling he's in love oh my and then you know and, and, in, and in hindsight you know thinking back i mean at the very well, least wait a, minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute wait a minute i don't mean to cut you off but what about like you didn't even like think it was like you didn't feel i know you and i know you get uncomfortable in, in weird situations you were going to tell me that you were not uncomfortable at all during big bear when you guys all four you went oh, to big bear yeah that must by have the way, been I'm so uncomfortable for you i i think <laughs> thanks for, actually thanks for bringing that up because that is the perfect example of Tom being incredibly selfish and almost in his like almost like rabid dogged pursuit of pleasure with this affair he put a lot of his friends not just me a lot of his friends in very uncomfortable situations we had that trip planned for a long time we were hyped about it the bars open we're going snowboarding and then last second he's like by the way you know I, I want to bring you know who and um yeah it made me feel super uncomfortable i barely saw i barely saw her so i don't it's not like she came out with us snowboarding right, right. Or she like, was like in hiding in the just, room right it's just dude that, that's he really really just like got lost in the sauce and was like you know did it's, you, it's like such that, a, that whole trip up there did you guys go together did you drive up there together all for you yeah me and tom did not raquel not her, she came separately uh oh, um, me and tom drove up there and that's just yeah that it, like you did, did you know at any time did you at any time say hey after a couple drinks be like hey what are you doing just what are you doing man <laughs> what are you doing by that point by that point that was that's when i really started putting I, listen relatively speaking short style i was like dude you have to fucking tell ariana right. he's like i know I, he's like i'm going to i'm going to and i and like, I, like and i'm like I, I pretty much i pretty much broken up with her i'm like well, what does that mean yeah, yeah that is so there's no messed try up. only do yeah you don't yeah. try to break up with someone but, but like, you he, said that oh sorry i don't i want you to keep talking tom sorry i just no, got no, so no, many no, questions no, no, for you <laughs> please jump in at any time but around that time is like yeah we're like that for me, from my point of view, that's that's when things really like the, the tide turned. I was like, oh my god, this is like a full blown uh, affair. Like, how did Ariana like, not was, know this, that she was up there with Tom Snow? She didn't like, know. If I go check the mail, Brittany, and I'm longer than five minutes, Brittany's calling the cops. She didn't what? know. I don't think there was any like photos posted with her there, and I don't think that Ariana thought anything was going on to even like worry about that. You know what I mean? So but, it's like, like I know she wasn't out, worried about that. But. but they went out to dinner, right? The all four of you guys went out to dinner. I'm sure somebody saw you guys out there. I'm sure somebody saw you 
out there that you know that knew yeah. the show and was probably like, "What the hell are these four doing together?" Whether you're trying to drink more water or less soda, Hint is here to help. Let me just tell you that I love Hint water so much. We got like three cases and we've already went through them all. I bring them every time we record our podcast. I put them in cruises, water bottles and everything because they are so healthy. New moms and stuff in there. It's absolutely delicious. You will love it. Hintwater.com. Use the code REALITYHITS. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Therapy is all about deepening your... I wish I had this dot com slash reality hits today. To talk bad about her or anything, but I just I just want you to be able to clear it up that you are not in a relationship. And I've told no, everybody, the people that ask me that, I always say Tom is not in a relationship. Does that Joe girl hang around? Yes. Is he in a relationship? Yeah. No. There's He's allowed to have female friends. He can do whatever he wants, but they're not in a relationship. And I've said that many times. Thanks, thanks, Jax. Well, by, by the way, I think she's hilarious, beautiful, talented. Joe's the shit. I just don't want a girlfriend. I just got out of a twelve-year relationship. Um, but but you. going back, going back to what we were talking about, I think uh, that, you know that that trip. It, it makes me feel rotten because I, I am guilty of just being too complacent and just almost like turning a blind eye. But you it was. Are, I'm not gonna lie. In, in, my, in my defense, <laughs> based on the information that Tom Sandoval had given me about his relationship. Like, I, you know, he's one of my closest friends and I, yeah. I, I bought, I bought what he was selling with a little bandwidth and attention span I had to like, you know, give to this whole situation. I, I believed him. And like I said before, and from what Ariana's saying, it's all bullshit. He sold yeah. me a shit bill of goods. And I, and I just, I, I don't know, maybe that's one of my biggest regrets is maybe I, sh- I wish I would have done more due diligence. I don't know if maybe I should have gave him an ultimatum or I like, I just now, I mean, that yeah, was, like that's one of my, actually, that was one of my uh, like if questions. you didn't if he didn't tell Ariana, were you going to? Because I know that I mean Ariana was in your wedding on your side as well, so I know that you love her as well, and I know of course that was such a hard position for you to be in, but you had to have just notice how terrible this was, you know. Totally, and I I I I, I don't know. I try not to have regrets on that, but yeah, I, I wish I could. Have been- Sorry, I don't mean to talk. I keep talking. Okay, about that. Yeah, Sorry. Guys, that was my next question, though, is do you have any regrets? And I just wanted to elaborate on that. Do you have any regrets? And if, if, if so, what, what are they? That's uh, Yeah, I, I, yeah, I just, no, it's okay. You guys, please jump in at any time. We're riffing. I love you guys. But um, <laughs> I will, well, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I do regret kissing Raquel uh, in, in um, Mexico because of how much it hurt Katie. It was a little selfish, but I was also falling apart. And, 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 and in regards to, like, this whole affair, I just... My, my biggest regret is how just nonchalant I was about it. You know, yeah. it looks like I was just like co-conspirator and I just was, un, I, I was an unfortunate confidant and I really bought the story he told me, you know, I bought like, I don't want to keep repeating it. No, I don't I know. Upset it. I don't, and you're also like the type it. of person, like it, I know, like I said, I know you pretty well. You got your own shit going on. And, and I think it's not talked about enough about what you are going on with your personal life, with your family, your father and all that, that, that way is a huge 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 weight on you and then you have to deal with this on the side it's like and this and to be honest what you do with your family this kind of stuff is menial when you got all these big deal uh, things going on with your family but also i I wonder as a person though no as a person you just kind of be like listen i I don't have the time for this i don't have the time to deal with this because i got my dad's in the hospital my brother's in rehab my other brother's got cancer like i i can't i'm trying to open a bar you know i that's why i understand that's why i you know i have sympathy for you a little bit on that Right, of course, and I hate that your family's gone through all that, and I'm praying for them, and I hope that they are doing better. Um, yeah, one hundred percent. Thanks, Britt, and, and and I'm not I'm not using that as an excuse. I'm just trying to let people inside of my mindset at the time. You yeah. know? Yeah. No, I understand. I, I, I really was just so fucking consumed with my own life, and I I really. I really believed what Tom Sandoval told me and it, and it made me. So are you mad to, at Tom Sandoval? Like, have you talked to him about how shitty of a person he was to even you? Yeah. Where do you guys stand? Yeah. You he, he has apologized. He has apologized to me a lot. And uh, by the way, I'm glad you said, I'm glad you brought that up. Cause like I, I, one thing, you know, I'm in the bars every single week. I'm in Schwartz and Sandy's. I'm in Tom Tom. And one thing I've gleaned from a lot of patrons and people who like the show is First of all, like, yeah, they're, like, repulsed and disgusted by this whole thing. It's vile. It's, yes. it's like, indefensible. But, like, they're, like, one thing they, they always say is they're, like, you know, from our point of view, it doesn't seem like he has, like, remorse or contrition. Exactly. And, like, Raquel, too, and, 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 it, and it further, like, exacerbates the situation. Tom has 
apologize to me a lot. You know, I, I, I feel like just, he's apologized to you more than he has to Ariana. He's and that changed is the lyrics in his song, in his band, about how the phone fell out. Like, he's almost making fun of this situation now. What? Like, he, when he goes on That's, his tour, he's changed, he's talking the songs, to elaborating about how the phone fell out of his pocket, about how Raquel knew, and, like, he's almost making fun of it. Like, kind of just going along with it. Now, which that's I mean, a little bit the, the lack of empathy and the, the scarier part, the sociopath. Yeah, part well, and well, and just the part that he, you know, I'm glad that he's apologizing to you, but like, I just feel like there just needs to be so much more towards Ariana because that, that's just, totally. th this is, you know, I went, me, I went through with Jax. It wasn't near as public, but it was so hard to have to live through that publicly, you know, like whenever yeah. he cheated and all that. That was so hard for me. So I can't even, I can feel for Ariana and what she had to go through during all of this. And I'm glad because she's like thriving now. She's doing so good. I feel like she's happier. A weight's been lifted off of her shoulder. And hopefully, like, she just will just be like the queen of everything now and just have the best life. That's all I want for her. She's literally booked every commercial. Yeah, she's doing, she's <laughs> killing it right now. She's absolutely killing it. And I'm happy because she deserves that because this was like super public and so hard to go through publicly. And then have to yeah. relive it all like months later on the show again. And, you know, that's hard. That's really hard. I, it's I, what a bizarre experience. She must feel like she's in the Truman Show. Tom too. It's like, I, but I, I am I am happy. It makes me happy to see her thriving. I, I think her and Sheena threw out the first pitch at the the Padres game last I night. I know. Like, she's ubiquitous, man. She's in everywhere. She's yeah. She's crushing it. And so yeah, man. I, I slow down with those big words, dude. I'm going through my thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> the ubiquitous. The hell word is that? <laughs> me and Jack's over here like, uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah. Exactly. Ubiquitous. <laughs> it's so ubiquitous. <laughs> I got. I got absolutely roasted for my Watch What Happens Live debacle. I was just a rambling fool, but in, in the moment, it made sense. <laughs> we made fun of you a little bit, too, but it's all out of love. You know that. Yeah, it's all, <laughs> it's all hard. It's just because, I mean, I just, I watched you on that reunion. Like I said, we watched the reunion because we got to recap it on the podcast. But God, you, I've never seen you look as uncomfortable as you did on that reunion. Like, you were literally like... Deer in headlights. Like, you were a deer in headlights. You looked pale. You looked uncomfortable. You looked like, get me the F out of here. Like, you were just not wanting any part of that i could just tell and i can tell your insides you were just like I, like i said i know you pretty well and i just you were uncomfortable as hell uncomfortable as hell. um i wanted to click my heels together and disappear so bad i was just a sad fucking old meat sack sitting there with a half a xanax in my system just like trying to do some sort of like transcendental meditation or be i mean listen i have to we have to be present you guys have done a ton of these reunions yeah. but at the same time like just being strategically seated right next to tom and raquel i'm like oh my god this is gonna be uh um imprinted in people's minds now it's just like it like, corroborates that we were some sort of like rubble or whatever the f people think i don't I know. Even know i hate i hate that people think that you were like super involved in it um have you talked to ariana very much and like tried to apologize to her for knowing or how has anything like that went down between you two um we had a brief moment um towards the end of the season but um it was maybe like you know we tied for like 30 minutes but i i'm just giving her space i don't think yeah. she wants to see me um and, and 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 i don't blame her um you know based on the way everything played out and all this came out it just it looks i look like i'm you know tom's fucking wingman or something you I know think that's like what maybe, she thinks too a little you know yes i guess i, I guess to some thinks. extent i was you know based on what he had told me i really i just really does, feel like he really this, betrayed my, my my trust and this is just my confidence. the top of my head do you think now like today are, are you do you think that you need to maybe I hate this. It's not usually. Do you, are you going to step back from your friendship at all? Are you going to play it safe? No, I mean, how do you go about your friendship slash business partner? How do you move on from this? Yeah, I mean, how listen, do you heal, I guess. He made a big mess and then, you know, he left, he left, he left it for us to clean up back at the businesses. And, you know, it's, it's, it's hard for me not to be resentful of him. Yeah. I'm definitely, I'm, I'm taking a break from Tom right now. I haven't seen Good. him in a I'm while. Glad. I'm glad to hear that, Tom. Me too, that makes I'm me glad. happy, honestly, yeah. because you deserve yeah. to have that space and be able to like focus and like, re you know, have your time. And I know like how devoted you are to your bars. Like you are at Tom, Tom, you are at Swartz and Sandy's all the time and you love talking to people and you're so good at what you do. And I feel like he just like took off on this tour. I'm Lola and I'm Megan and we're the hosts of Trust Me, Cults, Extreme Belief and Manipulation. We both have childhood cult experiences. You know this. 
the other day, my phone got a text message, and guess who it was from? Who? Tom Sandoval. Oh, my God, really? He texted me. We have not sent each other a text message since July 8th, 2020, whenever I said happy belated birthday. Sorry, I'm a day late. I'm going through because it, it was whenever my mom was sick in Kentucky. And I was like, I hope you're doing great and had a wonderful day. He didn't respond or anything like that. Thursday, May 25th, he texts me this. Yo, Britt, hope you're doing well. Our band is playing in Louisville, Kentucky on 6-1. If any of your fans and family or friends want to come to the show just let me know and i could put them on my list headliners music hall thursday six one if that doesn't sell say tone deaf or selfishness then i don't know what does like yeah. that is the most tone deaf thing you could possibly say you texted I, I my just, wife i was me. just so shocked that he texted me that because we like i said we hadn't talked in so long i'm obviously on ariana's side about all of this and I just, like, thought that was kind of crazy. Like, why would I want my family and friends to go to that? You know? Like, I don't know. It was just so bizarre to me. And I feel like that's kind of how he's been about this whole situation. I just couldn't believe that he texted me that out of nowhere, you know? And I, I know he was, like, in his mind probably trying to think that it was a nice thing. But I was just kind of like, whoa. This is, it was just very bizarre to me. I know I just dropped yeah. an atomic bomb on the whole world, but, but <laughs> this is a total Tom thing to say, but do you want to come to my concert in Louisville? Like, that's, just, that's, such a, that's such a move that he would do, and it's just so bizarre, and that brings me back to the lack of empathy, the tone deafness, the selfishness. Like, are you, are you mad? Do you honestly think my wife would be like, hold on, let me call my friends? Like, like, like are you serious? I just, he's, he's, I just thought so, so bizarre. I think he's going through something. He's got to have be having a midlife crisis or whatever because nobody in this world acts like this. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like I, I'm, 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 I'm happy for him. I know he's very passionate about the band, but like the optics of it, I'm um, just not even from my point of view, but people see that he's up there and he's, you know, singing his heart out. He's got his shirt off. It just looks like he has no contrition or it looks like he just doesn't give a fuck. He's living out his rock star dreams and good for him but it just man it, i think that's that's one thing i've gleaned from like all the people in the restaurant they don't they just don't understand like the lack of remorse i know he i know he fucking regrets it but like he doesn't do a good job of showing that and and and, and he just it, it's he's gotta i'll say it again he's he's gotta drop the ego man yes. Hard humility and stop like i i, I want to say this again for emphasis man when you have a full fucking blown affair your side of the story ceases to exist exactly that shit is obsolete and, and and just you and, just gotta move forward and raquel like just how she like smiles and stuff talking about it like i that almost made me throw up i could not believe that she was just <laughs> grinning <laughs> ear from ear ear from ear you ear know, to Tom, ear about it Tom, i was like what is happening right now every week i go back and forth i'm like is she an idiot or is she calculated like i can't figure her out like i can't tell if she's smart or she's just really dumb like, well what i want two. to know I can't is figure it out because there's some weeks where i'm like she's a moron and, and i'm like and then i'm like wait a minute maybe she's calculated like i can't figure it out and i gotta read on people i usually can read people pretty well and i can't read her at all I, I, seems like I she remember, doesn't have emotions either yeah she doesn't yeah just you guys just reminded me of what did andy say andy i remember andy on watch what happens live was like sorry like are you mad at raquel and i I think I said something like, I don't, not really, actually, which I know she's just as fucking guilty. I mean, it's cold blooded. Oh, yeah. What she did. But like, I, from my point of view, it kind of just seemed like she was along for the ride. I got to be careful what I say. I don't know. That's she seemed true. Like I believe that too. I don't know. Like, uh, man, Tom just had like this dogged fucking pursuit of pleasure. I've never, I, like, yeah, I mean, I feel I, like it is midlife like, crisis y. Like, it is. It's like, it, it, dude, I, I think he kind of like, and he, he blew up his whole life. A little bit of a diva mentality where he's yes. like, I'm untouchable. You know, kind you of You had thing. that. That's what I had. And you then did, I stole Jax. sunglasses. And then it was. <laughs> uh, you did a lot more than just steal sunglasses. You went through a lot. You went through a lot of stupid stuff, too. But you've learned and grown from it. And I just don't see anything like that happening with Tom right now. No. Not you, Tom. The other Tom. No, <laughs> Sandoval. No, I, I did it. I love to see you guys. Um, I, Jax, I love your, I love your comeuppance. I love that um, you, you've reformed. You're a fucking great dad. You're turning your life. I mean, Aww. I've always been a great person. I'm all, 
Um, he had a big no, heart. He had a big heart. I yeah, mean, he, well, I don't, I'm not a malicious. I do a lot of stupid stuff, but that's because I like to get a rise out of people. But I don't do anything like uh, malicious or anything. We'll just ask you like one more question, Tom, because I know we've kept okay. you for a while. It's okay. But I want to go, talk. I want to go back to how Sandoval told you that he was in love with her. I'm just wondering, just like the rest of the world, are they still in love? Are they together? Like, what is happening? Because it kind of pisses me off if they're not together after they blew everybody's lives up. You know what I mean? Like, if they're not even together now, what in the world is happening? That was the last thing I said to him before we left the reunion. I was like, dude, after all the shit that you put me through and, and everyone else around you through, I was like, you better marry this fucking girl. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to report that I have no idea. I have no clue, and it could not make me happier. I don't want to know any Oh, secrets. so you're that, wanna... like, far away from him. Like, you're not even talking to him right now about stuff. No, I have, he, he's been on tour nonstop, so I haven't I haven't seen him or talked to him in a long time. I mean, he's been he's been on tour for, like, months, um, which I probably is good for his mental health. Not that anyone cares about that, and I'm certainly not going to make the mistake of advocating for hugs for Sandoval again. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's, it's just a remi- I just as a reminder to people out there, it's like, Oh my God. There's like I, 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 some of the toxicity and like, I can't imagine the DMS that they're getting and stuff. And just a reminder to people out there, it's like, what's that quote from that one philosopher dude? It's like, when, when you're, when you're fighting monsters, be careful that you don't become one. It's like, Holy shit. I, I get this is super f-ed up and, and people are just like disgusted by the whole thing. And it, but like, man, I, People are just online are scary sometimes. Oh, Holy gosh. shit. Man. Yeah, it's that, mob Instagram mentality. Trolls are... that mob mentality. But even like Ariana was talking to me, like she still can get like people. Of course, she's got so many more people in her corner that are supporting her, but she even gets like mean messages about things. And it's just so crazy that people online do that to anybody. I mean, I'll post a photo yeah. and they talk about how I look, what I do, that I took Jack's back. Like people talk so much crap on Instagram. And if they come up to our faces, it's not normally like that. Like, Oh, nobody's really going to say that to your face ever, but it just sucks because no. Instagram and all that kind of stuff, bullies can just say whatever they want and think they're getting away with it. It just is so annoying to me. Keyboard warriors. Yeah. Totally. You guys, you're so right. And um, listen, I, I don't know if we blame the algorithms or what, but like, you know, I, I actually, I, I was, I was watching this YouTube clip the other day with, um, I think Steve Harvey and Shannon Sharp, and they're talking about how Denzel schooled them on the difference between like a, a movie star and a TV star movies, you gotta, you gotta get in the car, get dressed up, go spend money on the ticket. But like people on TV, like you invite them into your living rooms. It's like, uh, you know, you're like part of the family. Yeah. And especially the, reality the, TV. And I love that. We yeah. have like, it's, and, and that's the coolest thing about the bar. Like, yes, it's a pair. It's like a parasocial relationship until they come in the bar. And then that shit like transcends it. We're hugging, we're taking half shots and um, half it's shots. so fun. What was it? Wait, what was my point? Uh, oh, that- oh, oh, point being, <laughs> oh, I got it. I got my point. The point being is I feel like that's why, like, the outpouring of, like, hate and disappointment has been so intense. I think I feel like these people have grown with us for 10 years. They've allowed us to be, they've allowed Tom Sandoval to be in his li- their living rooms for 10 years. And then it's like, it's like their best friend has fucking betrayed them. And um, it's almost like they're losing or someone. I don't know. Maybe this is all bullshit. Can I ask I you? Know, can I ask you just to shift a little bit? How how's the bar doing? How is uh, Schwartz and Sandy's doing? Is it? Are we still doing good? Or are you happy yeah, there? yeah, the, yeah. yeah. The, this weekend was absolutely slamming. Um, you know, um, that's one thing. I, I just I got to shout out to my partners, Brett and Greg. Like they've you know they've had to deal with a lot of a lot of harassment because of this. Yeah, you know, people like calling in and stuff. Like, did they think Tom Sandoval's ever going to hear these voicemails they leave? It's like he doesn't he doesn't hear any of that. Shit. Our employees have to deal with that, right. and um, um, just like I get it, people are disgusted with him. What's you know? going on with Tom? Tom, are you guys still involved with that? Yeah, yeah, Tom. Tom's great. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if you guys uh, to get uh, because I think either or something like that said, said that he might have sold your shares for extra money for Tom uh, for Schwartz and Series. Yeah. But no, you're still little- involved. We took out a small percentage just to help us get to the finish line, but we're still involved. Prime uh, Pride was awesome in West Hollywood. Shout out to West Hollywood. Yes. Um, Sunday fun was incredible. And um, yeah, happy Pride, yeah. everybody. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish that we could have been there for that. You know, I had, I, but I had my brother's wedding. I had my nephew's graduation, so we weren't in town. But we love going to Pride too. It's so so much fun and such an amazing yeah. thing. Yeah, we've been part of it for every year. Yeah, so we support with Lisa and fully. It was always always fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah well like in, in closing like i said man i guess 
I don't know, maybe I'm a sucker. I was, I sold the shit bill of goods and, and I bought it and I was just so caught up in my fucking own life. I just selfishly, I guess I, I, I guess I should have done more and I guess I, re I regret that. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's just kind of sad. Well, we it's know sad. you're a great guy. We just hope that you can, you know, work things out with Katie and Ariana and take this time away from Tom because you deserve it. I yeah, think that's going to be really right. good for you. Um, I said one last question earlier, but I just got one more question actually. Where do you, you think, think where do you think the show or the friend group goes from here? Oh, um, that's a good question. Because I know a lot of people oh. aren't wanting to film with Sandoval or Raquel, and I feel like they're just not in the friend group at all anymore. But I, I mean, you're I you're you were actually back. on the show. We weren't this past couple seasons, so just would love to hear what you think about all that. Oh my God, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, here's the thing. You guys know this better than anyone. You've been in this friend group for as long as I have. Brittany, a little behind, but like <laughs> we've we we've, we've been through so much up shit together. Like so many like marriages, divorces, cheating, like all kinds of other stuff. We've 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 bonded. Maybe we've trauma bonded through all of this. But like and and that and part of me thinks like you know we'll be able to work through this. But I just I don't know. I don't know. If, I think I the know, level. From my point of view, I will say, and you can tell me what you think about this, I think the level of betrayal on this was so much worse than anything else you guys have gone through. Like, I know there's been things in the past that have sucked and have been, like, bad, too. And I know there was things that before I was around that were bad that, like, Jax did to Stassi. And, you know, and I know that all that really sucked. But this was going on for, like, months and months and months. Holy and they were still hanging yeah. out right in front of your all's faces and, like, right in front of Ariana's face at her own home. And like she thought that was one of her very best friends as well as her life partner. So I just think the level of betrayal is just like above and beyond. So I just wonder totally. how you feel about 100%. that. That's exactly what I was just going to finish my comment with. And you did it for me. Oh, so sorry. I it. <laughs> no, this, is, this is just a completely different level of betrayal. And I, I don't know. I really don't know how it's going to play out. But um, I still love this group of people. And uh <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, I don't know what I want to close with. What should I close with? Well, I just... I'm, I'm glad that you're taking some time for yourself, though. I think mean, you're kind of getting away from it all, hanging out with maybe some different friends, maybe some different groups of people, getting some different you know, perspectives of life other than this traumatic Vanderpump situation, because sometimes you got to break free from it and go see your other friends. And, you know, so I hope you're doing yeah, that a little bit. Thanks, Jackson. Uh, that, yeah, on that note, like just a reminder, you guys, my name is Tom Schwartz. I did not have an affair. <laughs> we know, we, we know, dude. We love you. My world does not revolve around Tom Sandoval. Okay, I'm not a, I'm not like a character in his movie. Yes. I'm trying to make my own movie. And um, yeah, man, I just it sucks. Like on the internet, it's just I've gotten absolutely roasted into oblivion, and I've been reduced to like an accessory to to an affair. It's like Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, you can't look at that stuff. You gotta take a break I from know. that shit. And just turn it off. It's just, that's just keyboard warriors. That's people that have nothing to do with their lives and like to sit behind the keyboard and just type, type, type because they know you're never gonna respond. So don't look at that yeah. shit. Don't look at that shit. Just keep going, doing what you're doing. Like I said, relax, take some time for yourself, meditate, do whatever you gotta do, hang out with different people, go to the beach. Uh, you know, keep going to the bar and seeing people because everyone is going to Schwartz and Shandy's. I'm sure is there to see you. No one's there to see Sandoval. So. Yeah, seriously. And they all know that people <laughs> go there all the time. They all know that's your pride and joy. It's your baby, and you've, you've invested everything that you have in that. So, um, you know, I love going there. It's fun. The food is freaking awesome. Uh, we Thanks, had a great dude. time. I it, yeah. Three times that I've been there, I've had a great time. But uh, in closing out, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on here too. We really, really appreciate it. I know you have a lot going on in your life, and uh, I know you're not doing too many of these podcasts. But Brittany and I just really, really appreciate it. You know, we love you to death, and uh, we're always here for you. We're always going to be here for you. And uh, I guess we'll just see you when we get home. Yeah, guys, and, and like the last thing, like uh, people, I, I, people, I know lots of different people have experienced, you know, their friends cheating or having an affairs. Let, let this be a cautionary tale. Like if you're not happy, if you're not in love. Don't go start having an affair. Just break up with your significant other and move on. Yeah. Okay. That was the worst decision they ever. They shouldn't have never done that. I agree. A hundred percent. I mean, yeah, it's incredibly, but wait, let's try to end on a positive. Yes. I need, I need, a, I need a dose of positivity. Well, you got. Hey, wait, one, oh, wait, one thing. When, did, when does um, your Mars show air? 
We never it's, said earlier. Um, Monday's on Fox. Monday's okay. on Fox. Okay. Well, good okay. luck with that. Everybody tune in to Stars watch. Stars on Mars. Schwartzy on <laughs> Mondays and on Fox. <laughs> see this one. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thanks, thanks so much. Okay, Curvies. Okay. So there we have it. Look, that was the freaking interview that Tom Schwartz of Vanderpump Rules had with Jax and Brittany. You know, Jax and Brittany used to be on the show. Jax was the number one F boy of all of WeHo when he was on the show. And he cheated on his now wife, Brittany, um, before they got married. And she decided to take him back a couple of times. And um, he cheated. Jax cheated with Tom Schwartz's living girlfriend for a number of months. They had an ongoing affair. Um, actually, they slept together a number of times over several months. And he would sleep with her in Tom Schwartz in her apartment. With, and sometimes they would sleep together when Tom Schwartz was in the other room. And um, that ended up causing a huge rift in the relationship between Tom Sandoval and Jax. And um, Jax was very in competition, in my opinion. Jax was very in competition with Tom Sandoval. He wanted, he was very upset that Tom Sandoval seemed to be taking over the air quotes, number one spot. I'm the number one guy he used to argue with Tom Swar Sandoval about. And so to me, in listening to the, in breaking down this interview that we just heard here on Larger Curves with um, Brittany, Jax, and Tom Schwartz, shout out to Brittany and Jax. You guys should go check out the full interview over there. Um, I don't know, you guys. You guys. You guys probably aren't going to like my response, but to me, it kind of feels like Jax is on a rampage against Tom Sandoval and needs Tom Sandoval to be found guilty above all others. Look, did you guys know that Jax was the oldest person on cast besides Peter? And James used to always, um, you know, what's that called? Tease Jax about being so old and still being a bartender, dude. And this is your life. And now Schwartz is to that age. However, Tom and Sandoval, Tom Sandoval and Schwartz have a business and they're that age. Yeah. They drink and they go out and have, and, and they're that age, but they have like a full on life already. Um, and I don't think that Jax still has zero legs to stand on. I don't care if he, if the F boy did get married and Brittany did take him back and is pretending that everything's fine over there. Whenever I see Jax, he doesn't look like everything's fine over there. You guys, I think Jax actually has FOMO right now. And he knows that he's missing out on all this good salacious topics because he's at home with baby. And I'm not saying he don't love his family and don't love his wife and stuff, but he definitely is giving off FOMO vibes with this. He is so all into the story. They've talked about it nonstop on their podcast. He interviews about it wherever he can go. And I just, I don't know. I kind of felt like his questions were a little bit leading to Tom so that like, oh, you're not like the other Tom. You're better than that, Tom. You know, I don't know. Um, overall, I feel like Schwartz finally gave us some good answers. We found out that he did not know the entire time. We found out that he was used by Tom Sandoval in all this. We found out that he, looking back at it, clearly sees his being used in all of this. He, we found out that he doesn't blame Raquel. He blames Tom. We found out that Ariana and his relationship has suffered immensely from the appearance of his involvement in the Scandival situation. We found out from Tom Schwartz that nothing was, there was really no legs in the relationship or flirtation between him and Raquel. 
we found out that Tom Sandoval did not make them kiss to cover up anything. We found out that Tom Sandoval came and told Tom Schwartz that he was in full love with Raquel and that he would be breaking things off with Ariana too sweet. Why it's the man's fault for cheating when Raquel is always hopping. Hey, that's a great point, Sebastian. That is a great point because um, I don't know why your comment didn't come up. There it is. Finally, my, I don't know what's going on. You guys, sorry for the spotty talking, but um, that's a very good, why is it the man's fault for cheating when Raquel was always hopping and I'll translate hopping as open and available. So we'll just call Raquel was always open and available for the man who was cheating on his living girlfriend. And I'm just going to say it again, you guys, Tom Schwartz was just interviewed by the number one cheater in Vanderpump's history. Tom Schwartz just got told by the number one cheater in Vanderpump history that, you know, he's better than the other Tom. I feel like Jax is very upset. We're not talking about his infidelities right now. Yes. Ever since we talked about, yes. Oh my gosh. Black holes. Ever since we talked about that everywhere, Sebastian, everywhere. Look how long this is even taking right now to come up here. Oh my gosh. Ever since we talked about it, it's been happening. Yes. Can you even hear me right now? I don't know. I don't know. Am I even in the world? Am I stuck in cyberspace because we were talking about that? I don't know. I don't know. But I know that Tom Schwartz is through with Tom Sandoval's ass right now. I feel like Tom is on the road because. If he was at the restaurant, he knows firsthand it would be even worse. I think he's doing the rest of the businesses a favor by taking a break, going on the road um, now. But how when the, when the business was being opened, that was very selfish. And they can't just look at the other guy like he's the problem for the time delays if Tom Sandoval decided to find, go on a freaking mini tour when they were trying to open up Schwartz and Sandy's, you know what I mean? Um, overall to me, Tom Schwartz remains a cool guy. Uh, it's not his fault that his friends all around him are cheaters with their peens, you know, cause Tom Schwartz prefers to be a kissing bandit, not a peen bandit. Uh, we also found out from Tom Schwartz that him and Katie had a little mini conversation um, and that, but they don't have a lot of time for each other, but they're trying. Um, and he doesn't want to ever do anything again to hurt her. Um, the way it hurt her when he kissed Raquel. And that's the other part. You guys was Raquel and Katie ever friends. Do you know, can you put a one in the chat if they were friends and can you put a five in the chat? If you, like me, believe they weren't friends. Here, I'll start us off. Where is it? Five, 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 five. Is it going to go there? Like, I don't, Katie was never nice to Raquel. They were not friends, in my opinion. So, of course, in Tom's mind, she's not in our friend group. She's of our friend group. So, a little kiss with her was nothing. Katie just felt like being a freaking control freak. That's what Katie's problem is. She needs to go buy some black latex, get a whip, put a mask on and tell him to get on their freaking knees because I think she would make a much better dominatrix than wife. Unless you like having a control freak for a wife. That's just in my opinion. And that's not to not Katie, but you really got to find your lane and try to stay there. You know? Um, yes. Look, Sebastian says five. Terry Lynn also says five. For some reason, it's not popping up. Oh, there, here it comes. Is that going to come up? Uh, there it is. Yay. Yay. Awesome. And Terry Lynn also gave us a five because we watch the show, y'all. They're not running us. We're running them. We see 
We've been watching for 10 seasons. And Kate, actually, Raquel was none of their friends, really. She's always been James' girlfriend. And she had a puppy party, and they thought it was cute and sweet and felt sorry for her and went to her damn puppy party. But I don't think Raquel has ever really felt like, felt like these people are her friend friends. Uh, well, until her yurt party, but she's like, this is all I ever wanted. But by that time, she was already screwing the number one guy. So, of course, this is all she ever wanted, you know, and he treats her like a queen. James treated her like crap. James was one of those kind of dudes that he liked telling you how bad you were to keep you like broken around his ass. Tom Schwartz, he literally has been putting Raquel up on a pedestal. He doesn't let nothing, no, nobody can say nothing bad about his Raquel. That's for sure. That's for sure. I bet Katie wishes that Tom Schwartz would have taken up for her the way Tom Sandoval takes up for Raquel. You know, I don't know. I'm going to drop the link real quick so that we can see if anybody has anything to say um, other than me. Because you know what? I didn't say I want to leave the studio. I said invite. So freaking weird. I have no idea why this is there a solar flare happening. I don't know. You guys, Mercury's not in retrograde for all my devices to be spinning and calls have been dropping mid sentence. Um, whether the person is calling me or I'm calling them will be in the middle of a conversation and it just goes dead. And I look down and the phone is call is dropped, you know? And like, even now, I don't know how my phone is freaking ringing. Because I have it on Do Not Disturb. Except for, for my mama. Oh, my husband. Hey, husband. Real quick, you guys. Let me see what he says. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. God. Oh my God. You guys, I pressed that unmute button. And Anyway, nothing is sticking. It's bizarre. Anybody want to come up and talk about this? Because I don't know if you guys have some thoughts. Does anybody speculate what the big reveal is going to be tonight? Oh, my gosh. James Kennedy has re been reported to say, let me see. Can I find the James Kennedy situation? Because James Kennedy, ooh, wee. Let me go to my favorites. My favorites. Ooh, that smoke in New York is so bad from the fires in Canada. Oh my gosh. God bless you guys out in New York. Stay safe. Um, stay safe. Stay safe. Yes, of course, Sebastian. Um, it's not safe to, to breathe all those particulates, you guys. Pull out your masks again. I'm in California. And when we have our California wildfires, I already had some N95 masks here at our house when the vid started from the freaking wildfires. The particulate matter was so bad, it was causing respiratory issues here in California. And my job specifically, since they wanted us to still show up to work, they were uh, giving us boxes of N95 masks so that they could keep out the particulate matter. It's very important to keep particulate matter out of your lungs, along with, you know, when these chemicals are burning, well, when the trees burn, it's not a lot of chemicals, but it does give particulates to the air that can get caught up in your lungs and cause you to have respiratory issues. So if you're on the East Coast, curvy, be mindful. Um, don't be scared to put that mask back on and keep your lungs safe. 
And um, because I know like here in California, the smoke was even in our houses. Like there was no safe place from the smoke. It was crazy. And I just saw an image on Instagram of what it looks like on the Brooklyn Bridge. And it is really crazy. And now let's see. Um, well, I just had that up. It looks like Ariana is going to go in on Raquel very bad. And I'm just really surprised that Ariana doesn't have a little more compassion for the hoe in her. Ooh, Emmanuel's here. All right. I'm surprised. Hey, Kurt. Hey, what's good? Thanks for coming through. Let me put us um, like this. There, I like us when we're even. Um, how are you today, Emmanuel? Everybody check out uh, Manny's TV here in these YouTube streets. If I have any mods, can you somebody please drop Manny's link? He's awesome. What are your thoughts? Well, let me tell you what happened. So The View had Lala Kent on yesterday, right? Oh, God. So I, I, I went on my Instagram and I put, I can't believe The View is having these mistresses or whatever. I don't remember what I said. They're declassing the show. You know what The View did? They what? took down my post. <gasps> the View took down your whole entire post? Yes. I'm going to go put on a post Instagram. up in manual. I'm going to go put a post up and see what happens because that was my thoughts too. How dare The View have my mama calling me talking about what's happening on VPR? What's this VPR? My mom doesn't need to have her mind confused with all this stuff. I was like... Who was talking this time, Mom? Did they, whoever it was, if it was a girl, did she start with I'm a hoe too? Because if she didn't start the sentence with I'm a hoe too, then they shouldn't even been talking to her. <laughs> the view has been declass has been starting to be declassed ever since Barbara Walters made her soul rest in peace. Hi, Sebastian. Hi, oh everyone. How are you guys? Sebastian, did you see the fight today on the view? A fight? I, I didn't watch it. Oh God, no! Oh my no. God, Alyssa and Sunny got into it bad. Whoopi had to go huh? to commercial. She had to cut the cameras. Ooh, tell oh, me shoot. what happened, Manny. What? Tell, give me. So, what, what was it about? Politics. Okay, so they were talking about the Republicans who are gonna run for president, right? Because uh -huh. Mike Pence just announced he's running. Um, Trump's VP, but Alyssa used to work for him, so she mm -hmm. was, so she worked for Pence or Trump. Trump. Uh, for Pence. For Pence. Okay. Like in the Trump administration, but like her boss, I guess, was, was Pence. Pence. So she has a lot of respect for him. So she was, you know, saying this and that. And then Sunny goes and she says, Alyssa, you're incapable of defending your former boss. And Alyssa got so triggered and she said, the, um, you're, you always get personal with me. This is not Barbara Walters' vision. Her <gasps> vision is for us to have a conversation. Oh, my God. Views, not Sunny Hostin's views. Yeah. I'm glad she did that. Because Sunny thinks she's the HBIC of that show. So does Whoopi. They are. No, they're not. It's just like, there yeah, they are. They're more, they're more HBIC than that bitch. <laughs> No, they are not. Barbara Walters is the only HBIC well, of well, that she's show. She's resting in peace. So she's like... She's there God. in spirit. Emmanuel, you well, better agree look, with what I'm saying. Look, I, I feel what you're saying. And based on the seating, Whoopi is the HBIC. And it goes down from there. Whoopi and Joy are the two anchors. Oh, no, don't then you dare Sunny, say Joy. Mm -mm, no. Yes, then Sunny... Then Joyce Sarah, is problematic stuff on that show. Did you know what Joyce said? Joy doesn't never get in trouble, though. They don't ever suspend Joy for her problematic statement. You know what she said about um Clarence Thomas and um Tim Scott not too long what? ago? What, what she said something that was so racist. I was just like, this is not okay. If, if a white conservative said the same thing about a black person in politics, it would not have been okay. She what said she that say? they don't understand, they don't know what racism is because they're black Republicans and they don't know the experience of racism. And I was just like, we'll be ignorance. That I was yeah. like, no, Joy, that was wrong, Joy. Like they should have she should have never said something like that. And that's Whoopi why check her? No, because Whoopi's a whole C O N word. Yeah. Too. Well Whoopi does not I black identify first. She's not, well, I don't think um, that's first on her list of identifications. 
Oh, what's his name? Tim Scott went on, and they had a pretty good conversation, actually. Oh, he got the he gathered them, y'all. Yeah, he <laughs> did. He did. <laughs> who's Scott now? Who is Tim Scott? The black man running for the Republican nominee. How did he gather them? Oh, child, they were coming out with systemic racism and were yeah. saying that he's an exception to black success because America is so systemically racist that black people can't succeed. Yeah. And he was saying, um. They were saying how, like, you're an exception, I'm an exception, and Whoopi could be an exception. That's what Sonny was saying. Whoopi could be an exception. And Tim Scott came out with, well, you see, yesterday's exception is today's role. Black people are advancing at higher rates now than they were hundreds of years ago. And then had Whoopi, had Sonny speechless child, Sonny was, like, frozen up in that place. Oh. Well, I, you know, a black people in the black experience is not monolithic. That's as the nor, no, no human experience is one, right? That, that's I mean, what I have an issue with. Black, this is why I have an issue with Sonny and Whoopi on that show. They mm -hmm. think black people all got to think the same. They think Latinos yeah, no, all have no, to no. think the same. And it's just very problematic. Yeah, it was really problematic when Sonny said a black person or a Latino can't be Republican. And there and was, I was there, like, well, and that sounds ignorant because there are so many black and Latino Republicans, like that's just not intellectually honest at the all. The first member of Congress that was black was a Republican. Yeah, like that's not, and and black people I know used to be Republicans before they were Democrats. And then something happened in the Republican party and the Democrats ended up getting their hooks in the black people for a long time. This is what they and, did. Yeah. It all happened under JFK. This is when Democrats started getting black people in the 60s. But this is why JFK was also aid, why he no right. longer lived, because he wanted to pass the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Mm -hmm. Mind you, Democrats at the time did not believe in the Civil Rights Act. So this is a fact. Democrats right. did not believe in the Civil Rights Act. Al Gore's daddy, Al Gore, who, was, who tried to run for president and failed, uh -huh. Al Gore's daddy was one of those Democrats saying that we don't need to pass these civil rights act, saying how we don't think black people are intelligent enough to vote, right? Yeah, but that, that don't make that Al Gore's problem. No, hey, it, it, kinda, it could hey, Corey. be. Uh. Hey, Corey. It's not Al Gore's problem. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying Al Gore's daddy, Al Gore Sr., because his name was also Al Gore as well was also one of those people saying, no, we do not need to pass the Civil Rights Act. We don't need there to pass the Civil Rights Act. There are a lot of people that have said that. Uh, and the thing is, the statistics have shown, like it or not, 80% of Republicans did vote in favor of the Civil Rights Act. S Democrats, after multiple filibusters, I think it was 10, they finally latched on. Yeah, because the Democratic Party wasn't what it is now then. But this is in the 60s, oh, y'all. Oh, well, this Not is only 40 years. This is, I'm, look, I'm all this is only 40 years ago. I forgot it's 2023, y'all. This, <laughs> this <laughs> It hasn't been that long ago, though, Corey. And I no, it hasn't. Right. It hasn't been that long ago, which well, is why I'm my not. My dad was talking about this. Um, Clarence uh, Thomas grew up during this time. Condoleezza right. Rice grew up during this time. They were probably 10 or 11 during this time. And that's why the they got messed up views. And they and played. That's they placed exactly. being black 39th on their list. Then that's well, why Condi well, says she can't be part of the Democratic Party because Condi said her daddy was not allowed to sign up in the Democratic Party. Her daddy wasn't allowed to do a lot of things. His Her daddy wasn't allowed to drink out of a white water fountain, but now he can. There's a lot, yeah, there's yeah. difference. Condoleezza need to stop, need to do something with that hair. You know how and I feel about stop these acting girls. like a fool. I don't like when y'all disrespect Condi, okay? I don't, I don't I'm like that. I'm going to disrespect Condi all day long. Y'all are not going to disrespect Tim Tim Scott, like her and Tim Scott got the same views, that there is no not... systematic racism, and there is. Well, the thing is, they actually grew up during the time where it wasn't covert. Now it's covert. They grew up during the time where it was straight up in your face, where they were it's saying, straight no, up in your face the day. No, it's not. It's not straight up in your face. Do we see blacks only signs? Not yeah. yet. Not yet. Give them well, a couple. Give them a year or two. Depends on what sundown town you go to. But let's talk back about. Let's get back to VPR because I, I get very emotional about Condi. Oh, okay? wait, no, real quick. I, I get very emotional. View. Here's the. You should stop because she wouldn't get emotional you about you. On the view. <gasps> I just found it. Tim Scott, let's see what you have for the view. 
we have some things in common. You grew up, you grew up in a single family household, single mother household. Oh, yeah. I grew up with both of my parents, but raised in the Bronx projects amidst a lot of poverty and, and, and uh, violence. And you were the first black senator elected in the South since the reconstruction. That would be about, I think about 114 years. Yet you say that your life disproves, uh, left leftist lies. And, and yes. my question to you is I'm the exception, right? You're the exception. Maybe even Miss Whoopi Goldberg is the exception. Oh, she's but, but, but we are not the rule. And so when it comes to racial inequality, it persists in, in five core aspects of life in the US economics, education, healthcare, criminal justice, and housing. At nearly every turn, these achievements were fought, threatened, and erased, most often by white violence. You have indicated that you don't believe in systemic racism. What is your definition of systemic racism? Here comes the public policy version of, but I have a black friend. Yes, answer the uh, <laughs> question that you've answered. Does it or does it even exist yeah. in your mind? But it's, Let me but it's uh, answer the question this way. One of the things that I think about, and one of the reasons why I'm on the show is because of the comments that were made, frankly, on this show, that the only way for what? a young actor American kid to be successful in this country is he did to not be the exception and not the rule. That is a dangerous, <laughs> offensive, disgusting message to send to our young people today that the only way to succeed is by being <laughs> the exception. I will tell you that if my life is the exception, uh, I can't imagine. But, I can't. But it is. But it's not actually. Here's here's. It's been here's 114 my, years. Yeah. So so the fact of the matter is we've had an African American president, African American. Uh, Vice President, we've had two African Americans to be Secretaries of the State uh, in my home city. Uh, the police chief is an African American who's now running for mayor. The head of the Highway Patrol for South Carolina is an African American. In, 19, in 1975, um, there was about 15 percent employment in the African American community for the first time in the history of the country. It's under five percent. Forty percent homelessness. And fifty percent of African Americans. Fifty percent of the folks get, in our community. Thirteen percent oh, of the population. You had a chance to ask the question. I know that I've watched you on the show that you like people. Yeah. Differential and respectful, so I'm going to do the that same thing. True. So here's what I'm going to suggest. I'm going to suggest the fact of the matter is that progress in America is palpable. It can be measured in generations. I look back at the fact that my grandfather, born in 1921 in Sally, South Carolina, when he was on a on a sidewalk, a white person was coming, he had to step off and not make eye contact. That man believed then, with some doubt now, in the goodness of America, because he believed that having faith in God, mm -hmm. faith in himself and faith in what the future could hold for his kids would unleash opportunities in ways that you, you cannot imagine. Every kid today can look, just change the stations and see how much progress has been made in this country. ABC, NBC, CBS, ESPN, CNN, Fox News all have African-American and Hispanic hosts. So what I'm suggesting is that the yesterday's exception is today's rule and for us Period. to suggest it has met its promise no of course the the concept of america is that we are going to become a more perfect union but in fact the challenges that we face 50 years ago and 60 years ago should not be the same challenges that we face today i would just ask senator scott oh, okay yeah, he's full of shit, you guys. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. I'm not gonna say Yes, he is. He is and he lied. He is and he lied. Let me finish you... what I want to say, please. Okay, you go, then I'll tell you why he's full of shit. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not I don't fully I don't agree with Tim Scott on a lot of things. I don't agree with Tim Scott on a lot of things. But one thing I cannot agree with is I cannot be pushed with the narrative that I'm a victim. I would not I would Anybody not do said that. you was a victim. But that's what Sonny makes it seem like. No, it's saying not. Saying that we are exceptions. We are exceptions. We that's are the exceptions. No, the we world. cannot be saying we cannot be saying we are exceptions. Why yeah, not? As, because the system because, is there to put. This system is there okay, not to but, allow us to move forward. So okay. I don't want to hear that. Okay, is Halle Bailey an exception? Does she? Yes. 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 Oh, she's an exception. Yes. So that means yes. she's not that great. That you said that. That means she did not work to get that role. I he did like work to get that role. He's still an I feel, exception. I feel like the exception is that they they did make it, or else the numbers would be astronomical. Thank he, you. He was only able to give. So her point was, it's been 114 years, mm -hmm. and you're the first one. Mm -hmm. In when the South. The list, period. Was, he was the first one, period. Okay, but, okay, I, I understand. I don't understand this. So we complain that we are the minorities. Sebastian. You we, know when the we, country was founded. We, when was we, the country founded? Was it 77 and 6? 
It was 76. When it was stolen. 1776, when it was stolen from the, when the white people came no. and stole the land. And that's why they can't dance when because it was guilty stolen. feet have got no rhythm. 1619 <laughs> was when it was stolen. 1776 was when it was founded. Like, that's when. No, is you can't find something that already has inhabitants. But I'm not going to let is, you, I'm not letting that go. I'm going to put my I'm foot sorry. on your neck. <laughs> And I don't even <laughs> like being with Sunny all the time. I do feel your point, Sebastian. She does get a little she does. wolf of herself. She like, she does. I smell Sunny. She's like, ooh, all in, right? But she does have a point. That's, if the country was founded longer ago than when Black people been slaves, which is over 460 years now, mm -hmm. the Civil Rights Act didn't happen until 1963 by the wonderful Paul Anderson wrote the civil rights and it was only supposed to include black people no that's they the second him, civil rights act not they the first made one the 1963 civil rights act was written by paul anderson it was and they made him go back and add white ladies mm -hmm. other people um all these others to the civil rights act in order for it to pass it started off just for us. So maybe that was the Republican in it. And then oh, the way, the only way the Democrats who were dirty at the time from what Sebastian is saying. It is the truth. They were dirty. They're still dirty. Yeah. And they still the dirtiest butt cheek ever. Um, and from what Sebastian is saying that they were dirty. So that would prove the point of what Paul Anderson said. You guys should check him out. He's hot in these YouTube streets um, about the issues he had and had to face in only trying to get the Civil Rights Act passed to protect Black people. They refused to let it only protect us. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know, I'm just learning today, Sebastian, from you telling me this, that they were part of the held up around it. That's horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the they called them Dixiecrats then. Wait, what did he say? They were part of the hold up? They yes, they were. The the, yeah. This is, this is why I think someone went on The View when they were complaining about the filibuster and because I think it was, I forgot who it was, but they were on The View. Mm -hmm. And um, Sonny was talking about the filibuster and how like they should get rid of it and stuff because you know it has this, it has um, racial connotations to it. Mm -hmm. And this person so literally told the, Sonny, um, the and this person electoral told, college. This person literally told Sonny, "Well, the filibuster, the racial connotations within the filibuster that Martin Luther King had an issue with was the fact that it was being used by oh. Democrats. It, it was, was Dixiecrats. Yes, there was some no, they were Democrats. Oh, they were Democrats. Democrats. They, they were, were Democrats. Them Dixie, like the Dixie chicks, you know, yeah. like yes. they, they, Dixie they, they were Democrats. Uh, they were Mason Democrats. Dixon line. They were Dixiecrats. I'm gonna let your little 21 year old behind stop." <laughs> Okay. They were Democrats. Well, they were Dixie Crats. They were called it's Dixie, not Dixie Crats. Crats. Well, Will next to their name, it said, said, it said Democrats. Listen, it if you listen, I'm going to teach you something story. right now. It I'm said gonna Democrats teach you next to their name, not their Dixie Crats. No, it's just saying she were being cheeky. Uh, Jesus Sebastian. Christ, if you would listen, boy. We're being cheeky like Democrats, get it? And they were be called Dixie Crats because they wanted slavery. They wanted all of this, and of the other party did, and the other part of the party didn't. They all defected and went into the Republican Party. And the people in the Republican Party that didn't like what was going on when the Dixie Crats came left and went over to the Democratic Party. That's why they called them Dixie Crats. If you would hush your big hot air and listen sometimes, you twenty-one you, year old Courtney. baby. I love you, you but I love you, Sebastian. But let me just finish explaining my point. My point is that, mm -hmm. as I've always said, mm -hmm. both parties have a racial meaning to it. Both parties have done horrible things to black people, but we only seem to talk about yeah. what the Republicans when, do to the yes, people right now. Yes, yes, exactly, curves, exactly, and that gets me pissed the most because at the end of the day, what we need to realize is that the majority of cities where our people are in are controlled by Democrats. The majority no. of cities, yes, it's the, yes, it's the truth, Corey. All our inner, most of our inner cities are controlled by Democrats. Most of our inner cities are controlled by Democrats. And that's where um, a lot of black people are too, you guys. Exactly. Um, most of our inner cities where the children are going, uh, the school to prison pipeline is higher, is controlled by Democrats. Most you want to know cities, why? Because they have Republican in the in the in in no, the state. No, that's not why. Because they got Republican in their blood. 
Got, no, I, I don't agree different. with that. That's the thing. Like we always, yeah, no, it, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. People, who, the states that have Republican in the state house and Republican control of the state house, like Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, all have backwards thinking, and they want to drag us back. Jim I'm Crow. not fully going to agree with that because I've seen Democrats have campaigned on things of well, Jim guess Crow. What? School guess zone what? is part of Jim the Crow. Republic, the GOP is the only thing wanting to go back to Are you Mr. sure about H. that? Yes, I Are am sure, sure about, about that. that. Because, they, um, want, they want a authoritarian regime The GOP does. And the things that they're doing now are things that Mr. H did during World War II to have that done. Banning books. Saying you can't say but, gay, saying this person what's is it not called saying banned the books gay person too. is not good enough to be there. They're worried about the browning of America instead of what they should be worrying about: the poor, the homeless, and the hungry. But Joe Biden has clearly said that he did not want to send his school to, to a racial jungle, send his kids to a racial jungle. This is a proven fact. This school, this let me tell you this. This was during the eighties when he said I, this. We all know Grandpa ain't shit. Okay, we all know that's that. why he ain't getting my vote. But he's the then don't vote. Okay, go where you said you was gonna go. You said you're going to Dubai. Bye. <laughs> if you're not worried, about, if you're not gonna be here in 2024, then why are you worried? I'm not. The only thing I'm worried about is I don't. Assa- I don't like the fact the pushing of victimhood mindset onto children. That's not victimhood and that's something, mindset. No, it's I don't like truth. what we constantly are telling it them their the exceptions. Truth. That's not true. I grew true. up with that, My and I still came, didn't kind of have. I still don't have victimhood. My when family I was came eight to years this old, and I wanted to practice. go to Sidwell Friends School, the sister school here. When I had the grades, I had the smarts. You know what they told me at eight to my face. N word, you ain't smart enough to get here. N word, how N word, how did you get here? And I'm eight years old, so don't tell me I ain't no victim. I ain't no victim. Ain't never gonna be no victim. But it's the truth. Systematic racism happens, and anyone who makes it out of this, out of this systematic racism, is an exception to the rule. Because there are people who have not made it. And Why are Asians succeeding at this. higher rates? So no Why? one said no one's saying anybody's a victim. So Why he didn't say Asians he was a victim. And I'm guys. sick and tired of y'all saying we victims. You this guys know victim but that's, that's, that's what they push. I'm, I okay. want to know this. Why hear me now? See hear me now. Why are Asians succeeding? Is everything in this okay? And they don't speak. Most of them. See, you want to know why? Because no, they're part of the guys. system. There. Okay, they're listen. part of the system. No, I don't they think brought, so. No. They brought Asians here to be the model immigrant and to be the smoke screen and to keep us down in our own neighborhoods. But let's yes, see, there are Asian story. people who have made TikTok videos about it, who have made um, YouTube videos about it. Really? But Latinos yeah, are it's called the model well. minority. It's called but Latinos the are succeeding minority. as well. Latinos That's are it. succeeding as well. And they did bring and immigrate and Latinos they try to put Latinos against us as well. Labor to replace no, Latin, no one is trying to put against. Yes, no they are. Put, White supremacists are. They are. I don't, they I, totally I don't think. Are. They are, think Sebastian. So. Because I, you're I, 21 years old, you haven't lived long enough to live through any of this. Well, the thing is, the most of my ge- that's the thing. Most of my generation is accepting of other races and things. And one thing I'm going to say in my generation, we are not. We don't support subtle Tell racism. Tell Tawana Brawley that. We don't support subtle racism. Like once someone is saying something that's problematic, we always call them out. And Emmanuel could defend me on this. What I'm saying, we call call our yeah, generation you guys is not cancel of people in a heartbeat. Exactly, which is why our generation is more. I feel like my generation and will probably don't be better. Do. I don't feel like um, I kind of feel like. Um, Dad, do you have anything to say? No, that's Corey. Corey is Native American and black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she sounds white, huh? Do I? Yeah, oh, I, didn't know, dad, I didn't know I code is... switched. <laughs> no, that no, she's very. She's but very all I want to cool. say is this: the thing, the thing is, people in the comments of the view said that Sunny was gathered and that Tim gathered. Him. No, Tim, Tim did not gather her. Okay? That's your opinion, but that's not what the Tim viewers did not think. gather her. You know who that's said that? The, the conservatives. 
that in, in that 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 watched that YouTube video said he gathered her. He did not gather her. The black man who went to where the Civil War started to announce his presidency. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, it is significant. Come though. on, it ain't significant that way. It is significant. It is significant. It ain't. It ain't a good significance. And also, mind you, if Tim Scott were to win, which is unlikely. Um, mm. He would technically actually be I will the hope first he don't win. ADOS. Is June 7th the day everybody has to announce whether or not they're running? No. That was because no. a lot of people did today, huh? They're a like, lot of people have yeah. been announcing today. Chris Christie and Mike Pence, yeah. The yeah, main reason is Chris why Christy, um, Pence, debates uh, are going to start soon. The Republican Party has said, dictated that they're going to start their debates very soon. Those are going to be some interesting debates. The, they, they are going to yeah, be some will. interesting yes. debates. Uh, Chris, they will, but you know, the off. only people that will get through in the Republican Party is going to be the Satan. Oh, you know that, right? I, I'm not fully going to agree with that because it's a proof of race. I am going to. I, I am going to agree with that. I'm going to agree I, with that. It's either it's it's going to be the de, de Satan and Pence. That's gonna get through. What about over also, Trump, um, Corey? Huh? Over, over Trump? Trump? Not over Trump. Th those are gonna be the th the the final three. Oh, okay, okay, I catch you. Me. But no, also, no. I'm gonna say this though. Gonna so they're gonna let Trump run, be. even though he got arrested for SA. He's not. Yeah. Well, he never got arrested for SA. Until he's convicted, right? That was a that was a civil case. Uh huh. That was a civil case. So when he is, he, they're they're going to convict him for those documents that he had. I doubt it. That's, co done that's it coming down the pike. And also, his chief of staff just turned over. Um, Conway George Conway today just said on Joy um, on Joy um, that oh god he's going to. Um, his chief of staff just turned over text messages that happened during um, the uprising. The, the um, insurrection. Thank, thank you. I'm so Kelly mad I can't talk. <laughs> George and Kellyanne are getting a divorce. Are they? Yes, really? they are. But yeah. the thing is, Kellyanne was actually seen in um in a, a nice romantic restaurant with Andrew Cuomo. Oh. Yeah, oh, well. this is it, it's a very nice. Pros, you know. It's a very nice Italian romance. Was she sitting a, cross leg? Was oh, they came out with a smiling and blushing <laughs> child. They came sitting crisscross out the Oh, he likes couch. he likes scarecrows now. I guess she is scary. I hope she got those bags taken care of. I've but seen you her know, person before, y'all. <laughs> you did? Yes, I. Did. But yet, yeah, like I was saying, um, like there's some evidence that's going to get him convicted of something. But you know something what's crazy though, happen. and they're trying to do it before the election. You know what's I crazy? Wonder if the, I bet the Satan is going to try to see to it. What'd you say, Emmanuel? You know what's crazy though. He could be in a jail cell and That's still run for president. president. Yeah, That's true. by law, it doesn't stop him from doing that. <laughs> really? Um, no, yeah. the law does not stop him. Well, so doing what's that. it? It can stop him what from taking saying? office. It can't stop him from taking office if he's convicted on the federal charges of um, documents, which I don't think he will be because he I have will. multiple. I have multiple reasons listen, why he listen, won't listen, be. Listen, listen, listen. This, this is what my dad says about it. Say it again, Dad. One reason. Trump is running for president is to stay out of jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Political power, he thinks he is untouchable. <laughs> and he might be right. So he will run all the way to the presidency, destroying the Republican Party as he goes. Mm -hmm. Which I don't mind one bit. But that's what he's doing. He's not doing it for the Republican Party. He's doing it for himself. As always. Amen. Well, that's what entrepreneurs do, guys. We also that's what entrepreneurs no, that's do. not that's what people <laughs> do. It's the truth. Don't, don't lump him with entrepreneurs because he his daddy wasn't bro. no good at business and he ain't no good at business. So let's entrepreneurs not. always do that. They only want to save let's themselves. Not. Let's not entrepreneurs always want to save themselves. And the thing I is I want to help everybody. My mission is no family left behind. Left behind. I'm the kind that, of that's mine too. That that's mine to too. Everybody. That's mine too. We that's all mine need too. a million dollars in this piece. All right. Mm -hmm. But you know, you know. I blame Contact a lot me. for this situation. I blame I blame most of this on Michael Cohen's degenerate ass. And I'm going to say it again. You are the one who's responsible for filing his taxes. You are the one who's his accountant. 
and you can be held liable. Michael Cohen account. is not his is not his account. Was he was you the guys, one filing them though? He's his lawyer. You guys, he, he's if, not his accountant. If Trump his personal has, lawyer. sorry for interrupting. If Trump mm -hmm. has what I believe he has, which are instruments in place where he owns nothing in his name, mm -hmm. all the money that is taxable that he gets taxable even comes through and goes over to this other place. There's not going to be property in his name. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be payroll in his name. There's not going to be assets in his name. Mm -hmm. There's not going to, even if you do sue his ass, you're not going to get nothing because he doesn't own anything in his name. He, get, but, he did, he did it. So his children could be thrown under the bus. I'm going to, I'm going to get it. I'm going to, I'm going to say something, but you know what? It's interesting how, it's, it's it's just interesting how <laughs> the word Corey um curves and Corey that I don't want to say that has been causing a lot of issues. Yes, that word. Well, it's so yes. interesting how like you know most of his associates were that, and most of his well, white supremacists. No, no, not oh. that. Not what are you well, about? actually, oh, they are. The, okay, they, they are kind of. They are kind of though. They mm -hmm. are kind of. You have white um, supremacists who, who who hate themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, you got your you got your Afro Latino uh, head of the um oh, yeah. the Proud Boys. He's not Afro Latino though. He like, is. He is. He's he a black looks Cuban. Very Afro Latino. He's a is black he? Cuban. Yeah. Wagging at me. He's a black Cuban dog. He's literally. Did you guys ever see the Chappelle skit when he was a black blind Ku Klux Klan member mm -hmm. and he would sit around all day that's Tim and talk Scott. about black people? Oh, no, and that's not like, saying yo yo. And that is no. Tim Scott. Him, Don't say and that. And they were like, "You're black," oh, and he was that's like, "That's Tim I Scott." Know. I know. It was hilarious. You guys Wait, y'all are not lying. He is really black, y'all. I told you that. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, I'm not I wasn't gonna say it unless it was true, dog. <laughs> oh shoot! He really is. Mm, Did he get arrested? Yeah. What he's self hatred. He's great. Go to jail. Not, no, don't say he's self hatred. Don't say he that. is self hating. Well, he's don't say that. that. He's self hating. I'm gonna don't say it again. Say and I'm gonna stand ten. I'm gonna stand ten toes deep don't in it. That. He's a self hating Afro Latino. Yes. People need to stop doing this to Latino. He's a when self. They I'm gonna explain hating. Afro Latino, because okay, if you're ahead of an organization that don't want nothing to do with people of color and black people, you're self hating because he is blacker than me. <laughs> okay, I, I want to say something, Corey, real quickly about Latinos and conservatism. Uh -huh. We have to be mindful, uh -huh. we have to be very mindful. A lot of Latinos have left left leaning countries and left. And? And no, don't say that. And. Don't make them I'm, less I'm, Afro Latino no, or Latino. That doesn't, them, that doesn't make them less. I'm not talking about this it guy. Don't, it talking... don't make them less melanated. Okay, okay, Corey. Let me finish, Corey. Go ahead, because I'm your, trying your to. Knee, your knee is on my neck. Damn. Yeah, I know it's gonna stay on your neck the whole the whole time. Go okay. ahead, baby. Love you, so, Manny. So as I'm saying is that we can't. What Sonny has said about Latinos on the did View and stuff like that. Did somebody hold this message for review that Mademoiselle did, or did the algorithm do it, you guys? What me what me. message? Oh my God, Mademoiselle! I'm not did right now. Any moderators delete a comment and hold it for review? I I'm didn't. Not I didn't touch because I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not waiting I'm, I'm here, Sebastian. What you did that, Sebastian? No, I it's about the G word. Oh no, I don't have my glasses on. What? Let me see. Let me go into the mod thing. I look crazy right now. You guys, excuse me. Let me, I'm going into the mod thing right now. No, I'm just going to hurry up and hold it up. What, what, what did, what, sorry. What was said? Oh my God. Put it in the private chat. What was said? Just copy and paste it in the private chat. Okay, I'm going to take a picture and send it to our freaking Okay. Don't make me, don't make me lose my train of thought. But yes, we cannot be judging Latinos for being conservative. Because a lot of them have come from very left-leaning regimes, left-leaning mm -hmm. communist governments, mm -hmm. especially my Venezuelan brothers, mm -hmm. my Nicaraguans, and the mm -hmm. Cubans. Mm -hmm. Cubans, Nicaraguans, Venezuelans, they are the most conservatives in America. Mm -hmm. Latinos. 
In Florida, mm-hmm. for sure. In Florida, exactly. We cannot mm-hmm. judge them and now El Salvadorians as well. And even now Puerto Ricans are starting to become that too. Mm-hmm. So we can't judge them because they've been treated horribly and now they fear of the fact of giving government more control. That's why they vote the way they vote. That's exactly why. They fear of giving government more control over their livelihoods, over their banks, over their money. And as of now, we've seen that the whole Fed now thing. All your guys' Instagrams. No. We've seen right now how the whole Fed now situation, which is a whole whole other problematic stuff. (gasps) Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Was so oh, my. Yo, I didn't do that. None of us did that. It did None that while did you that. were talking about it, Sebastian. Okay. But... And all you said was J. We could have been called talking about juice, Jesus, <laughs> jerky. I'm so sorry. You know, you know what? I don't care. I don't care about them anymore. I'm sorry. I really don't. That's crazy, they, they, right? They be on a lot. No, we can't just... even say it, Mademoiselle. Just the other day, a three-year-old was shot by the IDF, you okay? Anything. You didn't do anything. It's just that comment that you wrote that said, you didn't give a crap because you're a victim-like. It some The algorithm held that comment for review, girl. It did. Wow. I, I can't with this anymore, okay? A three-year-old was, was unalived by the IDF. Not too long ago, had to see a whole... A mother had to bury a three-year-old. A mother had to put a black dress on for a three-year-old. Mm-hmm. I'm you, sorry you, that you, happened. You think you think I, I really give two flying f's about them anymore? No, I don't give two flying f's about them anymore. I really don't. I really don't. It's not the whole country though. No, it's not. See, my husband be getting mad when I say that. He be like, "Look, that, that's how." That's so Muhammad Ali. That's how slavery spread, video. y'all. The, this, is, this is the whole Ali situation. Has this famous oh. interview where he is saying, "You know, if there's a thousand poisonous snakes coming at you." And one is like, hey, but I'm not poisonous. And it doesn't really look like the snakes, but it's with them. Mm-hmm. Are you supposed to open the door and let the one snake in and chance the other thousand getting in? Or are you supposed nope. to leave it where it's at because it fits, it's fine there? Mm-hmm. I but you know, the thing. young ones are coming out and speaking out though. Not not in mass, not in mass, Corey. They're not doing because it. Because they don't have the ball, they don't have the balls to do it. Well, I'm gonna sorry, when you don't have the balls to do anything, you shut your mouth. Oh, okay, damn. can we get back to 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 the crutch to you Latinos, were talking about? Yes, yes. To the Latinos, crutch you were talking about. We, we cannot You're still go on. Self hating yeah. crutch. We I'm going. To, I, I am going. That. I. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. Yes. Yeah, let him judge. say it, Corey. Let him say we it. We cannot I'm disrespect Latinos for being conservative when they are voting out of fear. Because a lot of them Their have been done wrong. Their fear up our government. No, we can't say that because the situation, they want less government because the <sighs> fact is they've been effed over by government multiple times. Like we have it? Like we right. have it? Well, that's why they want like less. Like we have it? That's why they want less. That's exactly why they want you know, less. Like we have and it. And the situation that... right now is also, we got to be mindful that Fed now and the whole CBDC push, y'all lost Latinos on that. So I don't know how y'all going to get them when you're telling them that we're going to control your money in the banks. We're going to know every time you do a transfer. What do you mean us? You're not talking to me. me? I'm, talk- I'm talking to the band. I'm talking to the blues. I'm talking to the blues. The Democrats. What is this? The Bloods and the Crips? Oh, damn, Corey. <laughs> the Come on. Terrenos. I'm talking to the blues. I'm talking to the blues. I have you're talking to the Democrats. Be the Crips. Yes. And I'm tired of this notion. And I'm going to say this also. Beto O'Rourke. That panderer, I can't stand his ass so many times. I just want to jump Hola. into my TV screen every time I see him and, <laughs> slap, the living, <laughs> and, <laughs> and slap the living Estrella. sugar honey ice Estrella tea out of his face. Star. He ran for governor in my state, but he. Well, lost I'm glad it. he didn't win, even though I don't like oh as Corey calls I, Hot Wheels. You know, I don't hot like wheels, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. I liked so. when he I, got I like, really upset at somebody. He cussed somebody out, and I was like, "Go get him, Beto." Hot Wheels. It was Hot no, Wheels. He cussed Hot Wheels out. He cussed Hot Wheels out, but you know what? I'd rather Hot Wheels than Beto, who, who who's pandering. Oh no. I'm so I'd rather, I'd rather, I don't like Hot I'd Wheels. I'd rather have though. Beto I mean, than Hot like Wheels. I'm sorry. All of his, all of his um, actions have supported his words, right? So what is pandering about it? 
was not was pandering. Kinda, he was kind of weird, to be he's honest. He's very pandering. Well, is and that is weird what, or is it pandering? When, like to me, I've pandering Kel- when I tell you I saw Kelly and Conway in person, it was at this conference where she literally said Beto needs to go back home. He has failed at running for president, governor, and senator, and he needs to go back home and go take care of those kids because Beto to is me, annoying. Pandering is being Hillary Clinton. Mm-hmm. Part of the anti-black um, bill in 1984 that was designed to destroy black families and households. And she signed off on that, talked about needing to bring black people specifically to heal. And then when running for president, pulls hot sauce out of her purse. A bag. That's mm-hmm. She did that? How I was yes. very young oh, yeah, during I never paid attention on her, on her did, campaign trail. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm like, how she did, did that? Or Roy yeah, she thought because she Andrew. friends with Beyonce, she can pull hot sauce out of her bags. Well. <laughs> no, ba- no Beto Banders says sorry, he tries but... to throw his broken Spanish out, try to say all these things so he appeal to Latinos. That's what Beto does. But sorry, I mean, but... Has, does his does his bills and everything support? Right. What Latino? bills? He's not in politics. He can't win. Oh, he hasn't won anything. <laughs> Off what was the last thing he won? I, think just, was I was just trying to be years. really super clear over pandering. You know uh, what I'm saying? No, listen, I don't like Hot Wheels, but let me tell you this. I would never take someone like Beto, okay? Beto's problematic, and Beto has been proven to be disrespectful to his staff, and I'm very... I don't like when people are disrespectful to and staff. And his even wife, Ken, too. E- e- yes, even his wife. And I don't even... Like, even housewives, too. Like, when Kenya was being so disrespectful to her staff on the yes, phone, that got me annoyed. Yeah. That got me very what? annoyed. Yeah. Um, let, me, let me just say this. I'm not saying Hillary Clinton is perfect, but we would yeah. not be where we are had she won. Amen. Say and it again. I, like, again, I'm not saying she's perfect, but she she has a track record yeah, of yeah. really helping people. And mm-hmm. like, yeah, not perfect, but her and her husband have been in the forefront. To help communities, I I read her book and like she has done so much work with mothers of victims of gun violence. And I just tell that to Haitians because Haitians. But you know, I'm still Hillary. like Hillary yeah. because Hillary done she stole their earthquake money. Up. She, she done the stole the Haitians. Earth- her and, she's done. Her and the now president did that together. You guys, yeah. Yes. Joe Biden wrote it. Obama. I think Joe Biden wrote the law. And Hillary Clinton was the co signed. Yeah, this is great. Clinton, the husband, signed yeah. it. Um, yes. but also, um, tell that to Haitians. Yeah, well, you have to look us up. Tell that to Haitians how Hillary did did black people well because she done stole their Sebastian earthquake money, y'all. Place. Oh, yeah, she done, she done stole their earthquake yeah, money. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll text you all of their all of their names. I heard about that. The best, you know, Brendan her. Barber loves this uh, combo, guys. Oh, you know right, who, on, right on. But you Got know what? Fan, but, um, y'all. Does what he have did anything do? to add? Do you have anything to add? Not today. No, I just like. Oh, right on. Good. All right now. I'm off here right All on. I'm saying is, well, as curves program. Always, that's not so she bad. changed what? She created the chip program. What chip? Yeah. The, the chip for the new. Um, All right, thanks. I know oh, you're no, the, about. the children's health insurance program. You know, chip. A lot of people who. Oh, oh, Child Health yeah. Plus. Yes, yes, yeah. I know what that is. Well, and then, you know, I'm kind of side eyeing that with all the other rumors about stuff. <laughs> I mean, why disabled children that can't, that can't tell on your ass? I mean, mm-hmm. um, it's not just that, also. Um, we got to be mindful that Guy Lane was at her child's wedding not too long ago in the 21st century. Oh, y'all. So Jelaine Maxwell. She was there, y'all. The pictures show it. G- Guy Lane was there. And that don't mean she's Ghislaine. a friend of that is not. We all know that she was there for Bill, not for Hillary. Exactly. And I know yeah. Chelsea didn't want her there. Exactly. But let me just say yeah, this about she's probably um, Sebastian. She's like making a deal for her firstborn. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Let me just say this about the Latinos, because I, I get what you mean, Sebastian, especially the Cubans and them who fleeted their governments. But I'm going to be honest, a lot of them, when they get here, they start to adopt very anti-immigrant views, very mm-hmm. borderline racist yeah. views. So I don't I really can see that. that. I, I can I can I've see that. That first, is true. Yeah. I, I can see that. That is very true. But we, we have to be very mindful that... Um, 
what they've gone through is what is is the reason why they vote the way they vote through. We can't just say that they are like you know traitors or something like that. No, we didn't say that. We said they vote because against their own best interest. You can't say that either because their yes, interests. No, but their interests are just civil. Okay, you can say country. that, but. That's their interests are protecting the their money, area. protecting their property rights, because hey, Fidel took their homes away. Fidel literally took their homes away. Literally said, you don't own a home. The home is the government's home. That's what they did. So they don't, so, they don't want free health care, free education. Because they're afraid of that. Because now Cuba does have free health care as we speak. But, you know, hey, is it really what they take mm -hmm. up is the more white point of view yes and it's and you might be you're saying it's out of fear so what they are not doing is being in their best interest by taking over the white pov because <laughs> it's not for their interest they're not going to get anything but working class being with um now be the with being with them and um and they have specific laws you see what he did in florida they all try no, to leave. Right, You're like, they leave I'm, it. I'm going to have to say this about that. That Florida thing, I'm going to have to say this. We can't be complaining out here because these corporations do abuse their workers. They do make them work 14-hour shifts and pay them chump change. And also, and we got to acknowledge this. We have to acknowledge this, mm -hmm. though. If, if, no. Said, Sooner or later, we're going to have to quit working and make corporations work for themselves. We only working out of fear. We can't mm -hmm. pay bills. This is a situation that needs to happen. These corporations, this is what they do. They're so greedy. They could actually file a work visa for those workers who don't have who don't have documents. They could actually make them documented. They could actually make them sooner or later become U.S. citizens, y'all. But they don't want to. They don't want to do that because they don't want to pay them fairly. They don't want to pay them the minimum wage in Florida, which is fifteen dollars. They want to pay them seven or six. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you you really think Ron DeSantis when he signed that law, he was thinking of the best interest for the immigrants? No, no, he wasn't. That's one hundred percent true. That's he was not. He was not. But the thing is, you can't say on what he's thinking. I'm gonna say this: I don't like seeing my people be abused in anywhere, mostly in housekeeping, especially on Married to Medicine. No. When I saw the way they took Miss Miss Gomez and were doing that to Miss Gomez, that's why she done <laughs> left and got up out there and, and came back after they they gave her a raise for her to come back. I don't like when I see my people being disrespected. So the anti-black sentiment. Yeah, I don't like seeing my people be disrespected. I don't care. My Latino Neither do people, we. I don't like. I don't oh, like them being mean. disrespected, especially that we work in almost every job field in America. We have Latinos doing the the housekeeping, the gardening, um, the nannies, the everything nannies, you just said is fruit. what black people been doing in this country since it was incepted. Everything yes, but exactly. listen, y'all have an advantage. Y'all speak English. Y'all don't understand that. Y'all speak English. They don't. Not at first. It's it's not yes. if rules against the law for Our us to read, which is very ironic because now they're taking away books. That's just well, I'm sorry, I don't like my this is in the 21st Our century, and I see my Latinos beat out of us. They sent I see my, my Latinos for my people to boarding schools to beat. And, is she and muffled to anybody true. else? Their culture out. Corporation and employers are about to outsource all, all of these jobs overseas. Y'all don't understand that. This is why the minimum wage is very difficult to raise because corporations are doing this. The situation of, you know, getting employees and especially with the work at home situation. Uh -huh. Goodbye, American jobs, child, because these corporations going to pay some Indians and some people abroad to do the work, especially. They're already um, doing that. They're already they're doing that. Call centers have been doing that. Literally, well, I mean, you know, whether an American makes the call or um, a person from another country makes the call, if it's an American co company, they can't be mad that Americans aren't working. If you're gonna, no, it's not that Americans aren't working. It's that because they don't want to pay Americans fifteen dollars an hour. That's why. Well, that's why everybody should go be entrepreneurs, and I am very exactly. I'm very disappointed. Mm -hmm. Let's switch the subject to Martha Stewart. We were just vibing on her swimsuit edition. Remember? No, she oh, said no. what she said. She I, what did she do? Said that people need to get back to the office. All this remote work stuff is killing um, the businesses, and she sounded like Elon Musk. And I feel she like said the truth. 
No, she I said feel like that's well, not the truth. about this not good truth, entrepreneurial man, spirit. Man. I feel like a lot of people right now, like I work from home because I'm an entrepreneur. I don't have to go have a brick and mortar to do but my it's business. Different. So it's I don't have you're to an entrepreneur, have, but you know what no, I'm saying? You're, not, you're the I feel employer. Like there are a lot more entrepreneurs happening right now, and they're trying to. Do that is a good thing. That is a good thing, Curves. I agree with you. But the thing is, as an entrepreneur and someone who owns businesses, she's going to think this. My employees have now been going on the beach, have now been doing their work that they're supposed to be doing at home in an office and been traveling the world and yeah. doing it. So That's what, what she's thinking. They're not, actually, they're not actually focusing so on the job. Because literally... As long as the job gets done... Your thing is really muscle, Corey. Exactly. You guys are really uh, muscled. You, you sound Corey, like you're you're in a, you sound like you're in like a, a one of those cups with a string. Corey no, has I'm been dragging bar. me today, y'all. Oh. Corey has been dragging me. I'm in, y'all. I know I she's been, and since yesterday's chat. She's been dragging me. But she loves you. And, and she's like, <laughs> no, Sebastian. <laughs> I, I love Corey too. I love Corey too. Um, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna leave this country, so I won't have to deal with any of this. Yes, leave us a freaking loan, says Mademoiselle. Leave us a freaking loan. I'm a remote worker. I could technically be a remote worker. I could be a remote worker if I wanted to, because I have all the database that I need to have to get into what I what I do. But yeah. I would just not. The thing is, there's certain things that being a remote worker comes with the cons. What if your internet goes mm. out for a while? What yeah. if you don't? What if you don't have a generator? What if the internet goes out at the at the job, Sebastian? Right. Mm -hmm. You know that what? actually has happened. But the thing is, they had generators and they went and boosted back up. You know, so you know how like right now I'm on summer summer break from college. I yeah. I applied I to to one of those um online jobs and I got it, but. Oh, cool. they, there's so much paperwork and you know what they did they exactly. made me do they made me go get a a d test oh really which i don't i don't understand at home. right right that's what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly that's the that's thing great. about this remote work and also people are not going to be socializing anymore which is a big part like societal it's something that society needs it's that's, true. that's true that's true that's and that's just, this is I the dangers so, of I remote working social before. i was the internet social before <laughs> It, it's I very like, and it's 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 harming people. You know, ever since the pandemic, social anxiety is like one of the biggest things happening right now. Like, I have a friend who's still scared to go out, not right. just because of COVID. He's just scared that he doesn't know how people will see him. It's been a while, and I'm like, oh my god! Like, and he's literally mm. thinking of working remotely, and he went to college online too. That's bad. Awesome. Exactly. What state is he in? Does he want to? Does he in New York. Want to work in finances? He went. To, he's Ooh. in New York. He actually goes to Grand Canyon University online, y'all. Um, yeah. Ooh. I, he could do just, he could do just part time yeah, and make a mint. Grand Canyon University is a private Christian university, but they don't talk politics really there. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's not Ultra politics. It's money. Yeah, they just do money. They just care about the money part. They don't care about the politics part. But yeah, so this mm -hmm. is the perfect um, business for they him. They care about shoving and, their extreme views down their down your throat. And so he's very right like there. the situation is even meds. He's been he he has gone on meds. He has gone on well butrin. Okay. Well. He, he has gone on these meds to get the soul to, to like lessen it, and it's still not working. Nothing's working, and this all started at the pandemic. Because as therapy? I said, he has is gone on to online therapy, therapy. therapy and go outside. He's scared outside, Corey. He has done online oh, therapy. So he's an agoraphobic. Yes, oh, ever oh, since the pandemic happened. Yeah, well, and he's still he'll come out of it. He'll get FOMO mm -hmm. one day. His parents are scared because yeah. you know what? Sitting down and being at home, he gained so much weight, y'all. This is someone, mind you, this is someone who had abs. Uh, yeah, that's what happens. We're not made for sitting. We were supposed to be climbing trees and running well, from life. he can life. work out at home. He can work out at home. He could. Get a he could. That's true. He could. But, sure. he's but you know, feeling. exactly. You know, depression's a bitch. Oh, can it I say is. that? Yeah, you can yes. say bitch. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's depression a female is a bitch. problem there. De depression is one, mm -hmm. and you know, <laughs> this pan this pandemic has literally spiked it. This pandemic has spiked. Oh, the pan oh panorama has spiked this. 
at the highest it could ever do. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, it was already in people. people. If all it, it was them, already in people. But you, you know what? This is the thing. All of us, all of us during the before prior to the pandemic, a lot of people suffered from smile depression, where they would just put on a smile and everything would be okay. But like when actually being at home, people would actually spend their time crying, wow. sadding, oh, no. turning so off you're the light. Smile therapy turned against them. Not smile therapy. There's a type of depression called smile depression. It's the most dangerous type of depression. Like the person will present normal symptoms to you. They, you will never think this person's depressed because they oh, are like always Twitch. smiling. Like They're Twitch. always happy. Yes, just like Twitch. Just like Twitch. Oh, just like Twitch. You would oh, never good. think. And what's her name? The Miss USA that unalived herself who jumped oh, off yeah, the yeah, building yeah, in New yeah, York? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. would never think they have. You would never think that they do. But yeah, deep down inside them. I know somebody that I would. None of us. I mean, they would just. They had just opened a restaurant. All the stuff was happening. Everybody was great. They were making vacation plans. Mm. And the next thing you know, yeah. Wow. And you know what? Also, I know someone who literally um, who got so much money mm -hmm. so quickly because he was doing option trading, and he got yeah. so much money so quickly, mm -hmm. and then. He felt that he didn't need to be in life anymore because he oh, thought wow. he made it. And I was just like, oh, God. Really? Yes. So he thought that, you know, because he started like he started traveling. He started doing all these things. And he's like, you know what? I, I've done everything that I needed to do in life. And no way. Wow. Yes. That's, a that's, also, that's the danger. That's the danger with wealth, y'all. That's the danger with wealth. Wow. And I was reading this thing. I did research into this a little bit. Did you know that wealthy people are very? That's one of their one of their main leading causes of unaliving. Is unaliving? Yeah. Yeah, they unalive themselves at higher rates. They unalive themselves at a very high rate. Well, is it um, all ri all rich people, rich people who were broke first, rich people who were rich first? I mean, because I plan on being a billionaire, and or uh, and that's not in my plan because I plan on once I get these billions, not only sharing them and spending them and going fabulous places, but having a long, long life with locks of gray down to my ankles and great, great grandkids playing in the yard of the vastness of my estate, and wild animals, maybe a peacock or two, romping around in Milo's great, great grandpups over there playing in the distance. I have a whole have you, are you gonna mate, are you gonna mate Milo? Are you gonna mate him? Are you gonna mate him? Yeah, he still has his balls right now. He has his little balls. Do, do you have someone to mate with him? No, he, no, not not right now. We somebody across the street had a dog, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we want to breed her." We were like, "With Milo?" They're like, "No." <laughs> we'll help sell him, but that would have been cute. I'm very I I love dogs, but you know, as Muslim, I can't have a dog. So yeah, I feel like you just have to have like more That's vision, fun. like. More money, more vision, not more money. No, more it's not like I can't have one. It just it can't be inside the house. It had to be it has to be outside the house. It could be guarding, but I can't have you one know, in the house because of the saliva. Did I did that with my last dog, Raj, rest in peace. He was an outside dog for his whole life with us. And that's why when we got this one, husband was like, Oh, this was coming inside. Because after he left, we was like, dang, he could have been inside with us. You know what I mean? It was just yeah, yeah so that's why I'm not. I'm not planning on anyone. It was a freaking. Hospital. I could get a cat. I could get a cat. Yeah, but you know, I don't really like cats like that. The only cats okay. I like are like Persians. Are you um, guys? I like Persian cats. That's a lot of hair. Yes, I am. I can't. I can't go outside. If I go outside right now, I'll start coughing the living everything outside of me, like literally, because I live closer to Canada, as I say. Yeah, I'm in Syracuse right now. I'm the closest to Canada. Have you seen uh, well, no. B. Scott post that picture of the Brooklyn Bridge of the uh, George Yo. Washington Bridge? Yeah, I just saw Child, it. I saw it. That is her. I love B. Scott. Movie. We all gotta respect B. Scott, y'all. B. Scott's one of the best. <laughs> but B. Scott is. Is she she is. trying to charge for access to her morning ja um, Jackie O's death. Guys, I want to say something about this Jackie O situation, and I know I'm going to get canceled. Corey's going to jump me with what I'm going to say. Ariana got a Duracell commercial now, you guys. I'm telling you. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kurt, Duracell. Uh, Duracell, dildos, um, chicken, um, 
What else? She's she, uh, she threw out the first ball again. Oh. Her and Sheena sang an anthem, I think. Um, she went to, she the, went to the White team. House. Um, Sheena can't sing. This is ridiculous. Wait, and Ariana went to the White House? Yes, yeah, she the White House. to the well, White House. Well, let me there. say something, and Corey's going to jump me for I'm about to say, well, you know, you know, Joe got Jill off while she was with her with with her ex husband, y'all. They were had a whole affair. So, you know, they were living it together, y'all. Joe got Jill. Jill was married to this whole other guy. Biden? Jill Biden was married to a whole other man. They had an affair McCain. with Joe Biden. They did a John McCain where he was married, she was married, then they got together. I don't think that's correct. No, she was married. He was widow. He was a widower. He was a widower. Oh, she I don't was think married. that's correct. That is correct. The husband came out, y'all. We're not going to do this. Well, let me just say this about Ariana because I'm sick of her. Um, I, I saw a, I a sneak peek of Listen, tonight's I'm not gonna third part. On old folks' marriages. Okay? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm boss, well, well, wait. Emmanuel was saying stuff. Something about Ariana. Continue yeah, speaking I, I, I saw the Sorry, I saw a sneak peek. It's okay. I saw a sneak peek for tonight because it's yeah, the yeah. final part. And our, you know what Ariana told Raquel? She said she wishes the worst thing on mankind on Raquel. God, that's a very dangerous <gasps> girl. And she got Tom the same way Raquel got Tom. I'm just done with these hoes. And I'm tired of you. Remember that one who who had who who who, who, uh -huh. pulled, who pulled the whole fit on this channel when we were talking about it, and she just she she just done left the channel out of the blue. Yeah. you remember? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. what happened to her? She's over on CW. She be over on CW a lot. Yeah. Yes, she has. She has been there a lot. I, I, re I remember she, she got in a fight with Corey over the Beyonce Illuminati. It was a mess. <laughs> yes. Yes. She has been saying things on CW about um the whole Raquel and situation and saying how, you know, Tom is a very dangerous person, and we should not allow this man to be able to, like, you know, um, be oh, be in relationships with people and things like that. And I'm like, this is these are very dangerous. Did I don't she like bring when people. Up her... No, no, she did not. Did she bring up her past. No, she did not. She... Oh. But you know what? I don't think Tom is a. People keep thinking Tom is a psychopath or a sociopath. I don't think he is. I don't think Tom is a psychopath or sociopath. She's because if that's the case, if that's the case, all of them on this show would be. If that's yeah, the case, Tom is all not of them a on psychopath. Raquel is not a sociopath. None of that. If, it, if, if that was the case, people in that environment do. We all know this. If that was the case, everyone on this show would have deserved that label because they've all done something like this. And I'm tired of people saying, oh, he's a dangerous exactly. man. I tell you who could be a dangerous man. man. <laughs> I tell you who's dangerous. That James is dangerous. Louis. Right. James is dangerous. Oh, oh, James is dangerous. Louis is dangerous too. L Louis is dangerous. I just, you know, the only thing is, I love Teresa, but the thing is, I know Louis is a horrible guy for her, but like, she's more calmer with him. That's the thing. We haven't seen her flip tables ever since she's been married to him. Sebastian, you need to get your girl Teresa and Jennifer because. Melissa gathered them last night. She did. She, she did. She did. Really? she did. She did. She did. She did. I'm gonna have to give it to the, the the Melissa sympathizers. She did. And did did you notice that Andy was like throwing shade yeah, at yeah. Teresa and Jennifer? Yeah, because he said something like she was like, I don't want to. I don't ever want to see your face again. I'm not gonna see your face what? again next season, and because this is your last day. And he was like, "We'll see about that." Yeah, because you, know? you actually on her podcast, she said she wouldn't have an issue filming because she, she Chanel Ion was on her podcast. Yeah, I had to go tune in. Oh, Chanel like Ion, the Coco Nubian, a melanin queen, was on her podcast. Y'all, I had to go tune. No, don't you dare. That's my that's my queen. I love Chanel. We not gonna disrespect Chanel. Chanel's for everyone. Brandon okay? likes Chanel. Y'all go ahead. And I fight love over. Chanel. Go ahead and fight Ch over. Chanel was on her podcast, <laughs> and she said how she wouldn't have an issue filming with Melissa as long as they don't bring up family drama again. Which I agree, because I'm tired of this family drama. Every season we got to deal with the same thing. No, actually, no, not every season. Every season that Melissa and Joe were on, wow. we had to deal with this family drama. So Melissa finally got a backbone, huh? 
She finally yeah, did, but you know what? I don't think it's gonna last long. But they're trying to paint Teresa as an that. that happened when? Yesterday. This, yesterday. Part two. But you know what? I feel like this not gonna last long though, because the situation is Teresa's kids actually made up with Melissa's kids. Well, they never had beef, but they were actually at prom together, y'all. Well, yeah, because somebody's oh, kid good. was running her mouth. They were at prom together. Uh, oh, um, how we do this again? Let's have this break. Had to be Teresa's kids because they always run them out. Exactly. They, but they never have. They that never girl was out of line. You guys, that girl was out of line. Who's out of line? I just watched the clip from the View. That girl with no top lip on the end of the table with the butterfly shirt on needed to F you. Yes. That was not, she kept on interrupting freaking Sunny. Sunny was so calm. You could tell that Sunny is freaking done with this B. No situation. It's, it's built up. It's and, built up, y'all. Yeah. The thing, and that she was trying to be so freaking calm and she's just not, she was not yelling. She was, she was just like, let me finish my point and was unable to finish her point because no top lip could not keep her bottom lips from moving. Oh, and shoot. Breaking then, news, guys. Breaking yeah, news. What? 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 Wendy Williams has checked back into a facility, y'all. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna say something worse. Oh my god. Me too. I was like, oh no. Oh no. Oh, the god, way. no. Stop. Okay, but let me just say this, Curves. Okay. Look, Alyssa definitely she doesn't know how to fight, and Sunny does. Like Sunny's an attorney, exactly. she knows how to compose herself. But the Alyssa, this is a culmination of of a long time, and she like finally let loose. Sunny has been doing this for a long time. Like I don't know. Sunny's becoming very condescending to her. Like yes, every, time, so. every time they talk about like a Trump issue, she'll be like, "So, Alyssa, you who worked for Trump or whatever, you know." So I think it was just like she was finally fed up. Well, I don't watch a lot, but just what I saw. What I don't like that. Too. I don't like. That's yeah, why I don't like. There's many reasons why I don't like Sunny. One, she don't came claim her Latin side. She only claims it when she wants to bash Latinos. Two, she's very condescending. She is very condescending. She was con well, she's actually friends with Megan now, but she was also kind of condescending to her too. But Megan is problematic on a whole nother situation. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they're I feel like they don't get along IRL. And if she doesn't get along with you IRL, then it's just not gonna happen. Her and Megan got along in real life, I think. They weren't that's true. Friends. You know what I mean? So maybe it's just a natural like aversion to each other, but Sunny's been on the show. What that little girl just said to Sunny about her being a disrespect or disgrace on this show when all she was doing was being interrupted endlessly because old girl wanted to get her point out. That's one thing Sunny does. Sunny will let somebody speak and be quiet when they start. No, but she doesn't. Uh, she didn't do it. Time, I, saw her, I saw her do it just on um, the other day. She just did it the other day when I watched. But Sunny said to her, "You're incapable of doing whatever." When you say when you say to someone, "You're incapable," I mean, well, I would those are fighting you're words. Incapable. Yeah, and she said, "And I'm going to tell you here's why I feel like you're incapable." So she wasn't even letting Sunny say her whole why. She jumped on the one word "incapable." What if Sunny had a valid point as to why it should have been incapable for a woman to have a space for a safe landing? For the likes of my Pence and his fly. That's true. She should have let her finish and then she should have came back at her saying, you know what, you're this, this. So like, let her finish. I agree with that. Okay, yeah. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. But the thing is, I don't like when Sunny is, as I always said, Sunny is very condescending. She needs to change that behavior of hers. Because if she continues that way, she could get, those are fighting words. And we're not going to drag Alyssa and try to make her seem like she's a racist. Let's not do that. Alyssa's brown. Alyssa's Syrian and Lebanese. And Sunny's very elitist, too. Just saying. Yes, she is. She's very classist. If you yeah, listen to very. what she has to say, she's very classist. And no one notices that. No one accepts that. Huh. I don't know. I don't, I don't pay all a lot of attention. I was just talking about this one scene and what I saw Based off of what I saw the other day, somebody else started talking. Sunny immediately shut up. Today, what I just saw is she was trying she to talk to Tim Scott. Girl, um, wouldn't let her finish. And then 
called her names. And it was just uh, weird. It was just weird. It was just she didn't do that weird. to Tim Scott, though. She didn't interrupt him? She did interrupt him. Sonny interrupted Tim Scott? Yes. Well, she wasn't interrupting this girl when this girl was talking. No, she wasn't. But all I'm saying is <laughs> Sonny needs to stop. Sonny needs to stop being problematic on The View. She needs to stop saying problematic stuff. She needs to stop saying Latinos can't be in a certain political party. She needs to stop saying Black people can't be in a certain political party. Well, she needs to I stop like saying that, that stuff. Uh, yeah, look, I like what Mademoiselle says. Um, people should worry about themselves and their own lives. Yeah, that part. Yes, and for everyone, we're not the same. We don't know what everyone... We're all not the same. We all have different experiences. We all have different things that we're defending when we vote. And that's just the truth. For example, the mayor of Miami, who I love. I love the mayor of Miami. He's a Republican. He's a Republican, but he's not. he don't, he don't F with DeSantis, y'all. He don't F with DeSantis. He says that he's not a DeSantis pleaser. And he's the mayor of Miami. And he's Cuban. I love him. He's great. Yeah, actually, on Juneteenth, y'all, he had the... no. Now, well, now we can. Talking? Okay, Corey's gonna drag yeah, to whatever look. I said. Um, <laughs> oh, no. he also no, no. he he also had like the police had like a Juneteenth theme car when it was Juneteenth. I love the mayor of Miami. Why? You thought that was nice? Juneteenth is not a real, that's, that's pandering. A holiday. That right, right there a was a perfect example of pandering for the no, mayor. It's not. for the mayor of a city. It is to put is. to wrap the police cars that have been torturing black communities for well, since the their exceptions for them to put that on the side of their car like they give a fuck about black people or their fucking history. Well, most the of the police in Miami, most of the police in Miami are colored. That was disgusting. That my but, friend, but curves, most of the police there are black. We can't do this. A, it's still, it's still, that's still pandering. <laughs> that's like that's that black. Black. that thing. So when you put something up about Juneteenth, it's because you care. How can you care in the state that's stopping woke? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. We can't. He's just the mayor, y'all. We can't drag him for just that. He's just the mayor yeah, of Miami, we can. and yeah, we can't yeah, also. Yeah, we can. Also, Miami is yeah. a very, a very significant to Latinos. To black people, oh we can't, we cannot disrespect Miami, y'all. We can't, even though over the couple yes, of years, Miami, yes, no, we can't, Corey. No, I'm not gonna yes, allow we that. Can. We can't disrespect that. Yeah, we can. That. And I, I, yeah, no, we, can. we can disrespect Stop anything me. that's disrespectful. My Caribbeans live in Miami. We're not gonna disrespect. Blackness, we can go ahead and disrespect. We're not gonna disrespect the Caribbean beauty and Miami Stop and me. everything. We're not gonna do that. Stop Miami, me. we have the Cubans Stop there. Uh oh, we have Mexico. There. She's we stop have me. Dominicans there. We have Puerto Ricans there. We have Haitians. You trying to there. pull up? We got Jamaicans there. We got we, no, no, no. We're not going to disrespect Miami now. No, come you on. You got Larsa Pippen. You trying there. to pull up? We got Larsa Pippen and her ass there. <laughs> you trying to pull up, Sebastian? Okay, go ahead. We're not going to disrespect Miami now. Come on, no. You trying to pull up? You 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 trying to pull up, Sebastian? No, Corey, I don't ever want to be in B more. I, I wanted to. I tried to come. And I know I didn't try to come. I asked someone, I want to come and visit B more. And they told me, no, you don't. Don't worry. You don't need to come visit You sure place. don't. <laughs> you sure don't. You sure don't. <laughs> you sure do not, honey. Also, I, I can't want to visit it. Corey, but that's your why don't you like B more? You usually that's shocking. A lot of people from B more always like to rep it. No, not me. <laughs> not me, doll. Oh, Nini Leaks was in I, Dubai? Oh, Nini is a world traveler, honey. Nini went to a Dubai comedy festival three weeks ago. And she said, yeah, I am she moving was to She was the host. She was the host. I love Nini, but the thing is, I can't forget what she's done. So, What's she do? Are we really going to go Hey, the married man. She did it, really, man. And this is exactly why I've started. I start, Emmanuel, I can't like Dolores anymore, y'all. I can't like Dolores anymore. Oh, Queen Dolores is dating a man. That's very weird, cool. man. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> this is not okay. Queen Dolores? Yes, I love her. 
Dolores is with a yeah, married man, well, y'all. That's what queens do. They sleep Dolores with, is with uh, a married man, y'all. Married peasants. <laughs> and I like Polly. I like Polly, but once I found out he was married, yeah. and, and how dare Marge? Because it was Marge that spilled it. Marge has no right to start spilling tea on people being married well, and, and yeah, people in relationships. I love Marge. Dolores is sitting over there staying quiet while uh, Jennifer is r- running her through the ringer. So uh-huh. yeah, no, no, she has no right to. But D- Dolores has never dragged. Marge. While we're telling secrets in this group, Dolores had never dragged Marge. Marge is so wrong for bringing that up. She didn't bring it up on the reunion. She brought it up at an after show. Yeah, That's why. Did. That was so wrong, Marge. Considering your situation, that you were married and you cheated on your husband with a whole married man who was also, uh, uh-uh, uh, that was wrong. That was wrong, Marge. You were wrong for that. You were wrong. I love Marge. Last, I, I like how last night she cool. she told Jennifer, "I'm not responsible for your kids," because Jennifer keeps bringing that up. Like, yeah, oh, Marge like, hurt I, my kids. Manual. No, totally she did agree. not. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna say this. Um, last season, Marge should have never called Jennifer a hypocrite because technically Jennifer never cheated. It was her husband that cheated. Marge is Marge can't call Jennifer a hypocrite because Jennifer never cheated again. Her husband I, cheated. I think Marge. she called her a hypocrite for being like shaming Margaret. Well, for she cheating, no, she she slut shames Margaret. That's what she does. She slut shames Margaret. But the thing is, we can't act as if Margaret don't say problematic stuff on TV. And no wonder why some of her stepchildren don't talk to her. She said something, and this is still disgusting. Where she said the first time she met Joe, he said that he had to go shower to take the smell off of you, smell off off of you, yeah, off of bad. him. To go to his, to his, that was wrong. That was just no. That's why your your stepchildren don't f with you, Marge. Oh, I like Jen Fessler. Oh, I love her. Did you? Hear I like Jen Fessler. Which one did is Jen think? Fessler? That's Marge's friend. That's one of the ladies that you see when um Andy said, "Oh, the two Jewish girls are here." Oh. Uh oh, are we allowed to say that? <laughs> the two nice Jewish the girls. Two nice, yeah. Are here, that's, the, nice. that's what he said. The, the two nice Jewish girls are here. But did you hear what Danielle said in the dressing room? That they set her up? Yeah, she was like, they set me up. Well, like, listen. She is they, such they, a... Mm-mm. I'm going to say this. I'm glad they did set her up because she was very boring. Oh. She had nothing to do. All we had to listen to was the sob story of her brother. That's all I... I'm glad they set her up, okay? I'm sorry. I know it's problematic. I'm just bumping but into she, stuff. She had nothing to say this whole season except that. And Rachel, I don't believe that Louis got in touch with your um, now son's biological mother. I don't believe that. I think it's the thing true. is, I think it's I don't. I'm going to tell you why it's not true. Because the thing is, it's not that difficult for the blogs to get access to it, especially the Daily Mail, because oh, everyone wow. knows the Daily Mail don't f when it comes to buzz and media. The Daily Mail will drag you if they have to. They will drag you. That's what they did to Megan. And exactly listen to your phone calls. They will listen. They'll tap into everything, and they will stir the pot too. So I, I don't think Louis had to do. I don't think Louis had to do with um the biological mother being involved in the situation. I think the Daily Mail did a lookup on Rachel's husband, found that he was married to her, found out that she was in prison because none of us knew she was in prison until the Daily Mail. What was in prison? Okay, so there's this new girl, Jennifer's friend, the baby mama. Uh, um, she's not. She's the baby mama. I thought she's the ex-wife. Were they married? I think they were. Oh. Um. So Jennifer's new friend has a child who's the son who's the same age as Jennifer's son. Um. Uh, no, not it's not Melissa. Not Jennifer. Melissa. Okay. Melissa's son, who Gino. I think they're like fourteen, and like, you but she 14? technically, she technically cannot be his mother biologically. But she's Why adopting him, her age. It just wouldn't be, it practically would not be possible, Corey. He, she'd probably be like 11. But mm-hmm. she's adopting him. And um, his biological mother ha- had some thoughts to say to the Daily Mail. Oh, wow. But she was saying how, like, oh, a friend of hers told her that Louis is the one who reached out to the bio mom. But I'm like, I don't think that is because. The Daily Mail is messy, y'all. The Daily Mail don't play when it comes to media and stuff, especially New Jersey, especially Housewives. Oh wow! But Sebastian, Margaret, when when Margaret was um, blaming Louis, she 
sounded pretty certain about it, and she even had those records. I don't think that that's matched. You it's know no what? Record. I'm gonna say that also. This whole situation about the hacking thing that's going on with the phones, like Andy was talking about that, Corey, where like housewives have been getting calls from other housewives, but they're not truly the housewives. It's just their Is number. It, it comes up. No it way. just comes up as their number and name on their spoofing. phone. Spoofing. But it's not truly them. But it's and called spoofing. Someone is saying, and okay. someone called Marge's son at work and said, you better watch out who you're messing with. And Marge is trying to say it's Louie because it's Louie's number. But Louie's saying it's not. Well, not Louie. So Marge <clears throat> is saying it's not Louie because she is getting those spoofing calls too. And literally at the reunion, she pulled out her phone where she got a spoof call, someone saying that they're Marge. Yeah, oh, but wow. that could have been Louie in the dressing room or something because he was watching. The producer, producer would have Producers would have showed that. You mm. sure about that? Oh. Yes, I'm sure about that because producers don't like Louis. Oh, I'm glad they don't. Maybe they don't like Louis. They, don't. they don't like Louis. They would have shown that. But no, I'm gonna tell you this. Oh God, I'm so sorry, Lord. Forgive me for what I did in the past. <laughs> me and a couple friends, we did those spoofing calls to a teacher, <laughs> our geometry teacher, who's also a real estate agent, and we used to do that and act as if we were potential clients. <gasps> you did. Oh, I sure did. She. I no, sure did. Not, not we set up a whole okay. viewing, Corey. No. <laughs> that was Brendan that said that. <laughs> we, no, we said, that's horrible. That, People do that? We used to do that. And the thing, it's not that difficult. People are trying to say it's Louis because he works in telemarketing. But it's not that difficult to do that. You don't. You just need an app. And obviously, with this whole artificial intelligence thing, it's going to be very scary because you could mimic people's voices now. Right. That's true. All you need is two, three words, and it'll completely no recognize their voice and make you could just type things and it'll know what to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sandoval is gonna be off the freaking hook tonight. Once his love Raquel comes out there and her beautiful legs and that green dress and her off the shoulder, and he's just gonna be able to have to smell her because uh, Ariana is demanding that they better not sit next to each other, Andy. They better Who not. The, are you Who kidding the, me? She literally. I didn't like that. Like, <sighs> can you imagine if Nene would have demanded somebody sit someplace at the freaking reunion, regardless of the situation? Um, and uh -uh. someone has mentioned, um, while I was watching Kempire, shout out to Kempire, someone has mentioned that Andy Cohen gets very aggressive when it comes yeah, to but women. He didn't get when aggressive. Because he's done it at, what's it called? He's done it at Atlanta. I think he did before. He when does he it everywhere. He's, he's, Miami. Does it. he's done it at Miami. A lot of the times at Miami. He's multiple times at Miami. He, multiple times disrespecting the asses. But he didn't say anything to James Kennedy for getting up all those times. Yeah. He no, sure didn't. Yeah, he loves, yeah, because that's what, hey, that's a potential hole, right? Who knows? Yep. And that's the situation. And people are saying, someone mentioned that the gay community, nothing's wrong with them, nothing's wrong with them, <laughs> but that they sometimes feel like they, they're they entitled to be disrespectful to women. That's, yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. Some. Because he some would have are. such a some issue. Are. Like there you know what? A lot. Some are, and I hear that yeah. a lot about Carlos King. Carlos King, especially. And you know who else? Don Lemon. Don Lemon. Has Don, Lemon. Yes. Don Lemon. Don mm Lemon. -hmm. He always has been disrespectful about women of all colors. Yes. Especially the last time what he did on CNN with Caitlin Collins. I was just like on live TV, yelling at the woman on live TV. I was like, oh God. Oh no. He got mad because he got demoted. She got his prime time, y'all. She got his prime time. What's that? Oh. It's kind of cute, like just reminding each other how much we care, love, and support one another. And for Sandoval, there's like a little bit of a role playing. He's not sure if he's ever going to get to propose to Ariana. So it's like, if he can't make that grand gesture to the person that he loves most, I guess I'm next in line, you know? <laughs> yes, Tom. Uh, Tom wants to be in a committed long-term relationship. I bet him and Ariana get married, you guys. They better get married. 
I could see him getting married, even if only for it to get a divorce in like three years. You know what? Get married, have a few children, have you a few, have like, yeah, I mean, great rock, Raquel. They should get married and have a few kids. That would piss Ariana off. They should. <laughs> yeah. They should do that. Yeah. Just and it someone. would all be because she refused to get married. That's why all of this is happening. Oh. He said Wait, she refused he him to get married. married. And have he kids. He said he wanted to be married seasons ago. She said she was scared of marriage. She didn't want that. He compromised and was like, fine, I love you. Let's just do this life thing. And they were buying a house like so they could play house because that was as close as he was going to get to marrying her ass. Mm. There's should, a whole should get other married. layer here. Raquel better get married to him. I hope they get married and have a few kids together. That would be, the babies would be so At, at least three. At least three. The, the, Sandoval is not ugly. I, they're trying to make it seem like they are not. Uh, he is not ugly. He is not. Raquel's ugly. very beautiful. Ra Raquel's very beautiful too. Gorgeous, even. Raquel is gorgeous, but Tom is I. Tom is cute. He needs Tom to get some cute. teeth fixed. He's he's veneers. His teeth are horrible. Veneers oh, will fix him. He just has a gap. That's the only thing he has. Oh, no. Like it's character. He needs to go. He needs gap. to get him whitened and, all, and everything else. Yeah. If you're going to be on TV and you're going to be singing and get some veneers. A tea star, more, a mustache, you're going to need to fix your, your, your teeth. Well, go to maybe, Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly will do those veneers for him. British Maybe he's doing a British thing because you know the Brits' teeth. Curves don't say that. Yes, their teeth are horrible. You can be a whole yeah, queen in Britain and have a and jacked up Canadians' brill. teeth are horrible as well. <laughs> well, you know, Corey, you know why they, their teeth are horrible? is because the waiting list to actually go to the dentist is mad long. They have to wait years. They don't have so. a lot of dentists because of that movie. Um, what's the one where he was the barber? John Sweeney. That's why. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's not just that. You know, they Sweeney have universal health care. They have universal health care in Canada and the UK. And, you know, what happens when everyone has health care? A, a demand is high. And, you know, people don't have access. No, to they don't have what time. we have That's in the water. That's not the case. That's not the case. They don't have what we have in the in our water that saves our teeth. No, oh, the fluoride that also kills yes. the What's it called? doesn't have yes. it too, but they... Have, they have one of the best teeth in Europe. Germany does not have that. Isn't doesn't it either, interesting but... that the one thing that calcifies our pineal gland and can automatically engage our superhuman abilities is also the thing that happens to keep your teeth white? And kill roaches. <laughs> <laughs> it's You're true. It's oh my true. gosh. I went to the dental museum and I saw that when I was about 12. I like to fall out. No way. I did I, I, I had an interest in teeth oh growing God. up. I had oh an interest God. in teeth. I'm shocked God. I did not become a dentist. Oh my God. I'm very shocked I didn't become a dentist. I had an interest in teeth. Like Dr. Heavenly. You can still do it. No, yeah, the thing is, I can't enough. I can't I can't deal with hot breath. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, me neither. Oh, and hot well, that's right. breath. Gross. Alitosis. In the words of Erica. I, I, that's coming sharp from someone whose breath smells like garlic, Chardonnay, and cigarettes. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, she's just she's such a jealous woman. Yeah, and she's dating another married man. Her benefactor. This is not okay. getting her legs are going to be this season, you guys. Ooh. Dolores, as the way as Kempire called you today, Dolo, Dolo. Uh -huh. It's wrong that you're with a married man, Dolo. It's you know what, Sebastian? I used to like him. But I don't watch him anymore. Don't I can't watch him either. You know why? You know why? He he's a sellout to Candy <gasps> Burris. Yep. <gasps> he accepted her gifts or something. Yep. yep. She was sending him super chats, and I saw him on her. I, I made the mistake. I'll never do this again. But I went on her candy. What does she call it? Speak it. Loud. Speak on it. Whatever. <laughs> Um, after an episode of Atlanta, and he was in the chat as a moderator. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. That's oh, where I was like, oh no, he's yeah, a sellout. Yeah, I She's don't like been that. doing that. Candy has been doing this. Candy, And that's what SW said in her video, right? Yes, she did, and I believe it 100%. Oh it, yeah, but the yeah, I don't like that. him because he doesn't allow you to speak your piece, really. 
he really doesn't want you to say what you feel. Yeah, he told me I went over there and I, we were talking about Mama Joyce. And you know, no, I that, can't up and down, I'm about that too, but no, we, I, you know, I can't stand Mama Joyce. And I was um, like, what's it called? Bought who? Um, he was like, he, he was like, oh no, 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 we don't talk like that about her. And now it all makes sense, Manny, because yep. he's a candy benefactor. Mm -hmm. The thing is, Candy has been doing this, and allegedly. the bloggers that allegedly, and the bloggers who deny, she sends bots after y'all allegedly mm -hmm. to ruin and, the channel. Oh, and, and harsh notes and emails. Oh, yeah. Oh. Allegedly. This all this all happened after Candy and the gang. That's what SW said. Oh, but you know, and what? I believe she because you know, we we cannot fake that her family is boring. We cannot. We can't. It's not our fault that we got eyes and emotions. You know what? I tried liking her this season, but I don't know. I don't understand this. Candy hasn't been showing up to work at Atlanta. I tried liking her this season. She hasn't been showing, showing her to work. Her and oh, Drew, see, Drew and Candy have not been showing up. They act up as Atlanta. Well, Drew's like a going through a divorce. Well, not at this moment. Not at the moment. It's air not at the moment that it was airing. At she the moment, right now, even while is. they were filming, they were going through a, a divorce. She no, just ain't telling nobody. The thing is, Drew hasn't been showing up. Um, Candy hasn't been showing up. She always got something to do. <sighs> I'm sorry. I tried liking Candy this season. I tried giving her the benefit of the doubt, but I couldn't. And I can't anymore. I can't with Candy anymore. I haven't liked Candy since she came out with F A Escape. I don't like none of them hoes. Oh, the SWV and Escape situation? No. When they first came out before you were born. I don't oh. like none of them hoes. Corey, that was wrong. Corey, are you trying to age? Anyone want to escape their deserted island? What'd you say, Manny? No, I said, Corey, that was wrong. That was Sebastian. I said that was wrong. Are you trying to come for my age? You weren't born yet. Yeah, it's a fact. Really? I'm not coming for your age. It's just a fact. <laughs> you weren't born then. It's just a fact, baby. Okay, that's true. I, I was you. not born. I was not born yet when, when Escape came out. That is very true. It's okay. I wasn't is, either. Exactly. I didn't like the way. But this is a proven, this is something that has been happening that people have talked about how Candy has been doing this, allegedly doing this to bloggers. And you know who else is, is another panderer? I thought, who? Should I say his name? Yeah. Say his initials. You, you better cut all these out curves. A you a no, 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 no. Don't say it then because I still don't know how to cut. And you know that's why <laughs> <laughs> the okay. initials are you D D U A just DJ. That's what I'm gonna say. DJ. I'm gonna and, say oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and U A. Put it in the private chat. I still don't and care. you know who else? H O A. I think I know who you're talking about. I'm gonna put that in the private chat. Oh yes. Tell me. Yes. Because he was talking good about Candy and then automatically got an interview with her. Oh, is that how it happens? Now I get yes. it. Yes, yes, Sebastian. Now I know exactly <laughs> who you're talking about. Eight. I know that one now because I was wondering how that happened. Mm -hmm. And then, but let me see the first one you were talking about. Come on, computer. It's a little hot. No! No! Why are you screaming no like that? Yeah. yeah. The first one. Yes. Oh. oh, yes, Corey. What you said too is also true. I love him. I hate to say that. I really do. Oh. But that's how they get their inside information, honey. Well, what happened? Well. I'm, I'm still gonna love him. I'm still gonna love him. That's why the love and marriage Huntsville cast loves them too. You know, I love, I love, I love the D Move it. one better than I like uh, the K. Move, move, Milo. <laughs> he's Milo looking for Sheree's no. little lap bitch, as I said. He is. Look, he's right over here. There's no bitches. Oh, over Emmanuel here. likes Sheree, guys. That's we got up. Emmanuel loves Sheree. Why? Yes. She by she, she don't take 14 years. Why? I like her. She's funny. And 
I don't know. Like she has she has so many memorable lines. Oh my okay. god! Okay. Like biscuits and bullets. Check, I'm not gonna forget that. Or That's when so she like... said, "Hail to the na, to the na na na." Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. We're never gonna forget. We're never gonna yeah, forget go biscuits check, or maybe? bullets. We're never gonna forget biscuits or bullets. <laughs> we're never. Get, we're go never go gonna check, forget. Maybe. We're right. Forget, fix your teeth. Yes, you're so right. She's right. Wait, did you right. notice Mama yeah. Joyce got rid of her tired Mama Joyce wig, y'all? She's oh, almost she's, uh, she's up there with Nene with these one liners. She is. Yep, she is. Uh, we haven't seen Mama Joyce with that wig anymore, y'all. What are you doing? She's up yeah, there. Yeah, that curly one I saw a picture of her from Sunday wasn't <laughs> any better though. I know. Mama Joyce upgraded, y'all. She don't have that tired Mama Joyce wig. That's Why does saying. Candy let her mom's wigs look like that though? Because Candy that's the thing. Have it look the way it does. That's Candy not okay. And I love the last one too. Sure, 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 sure. The last one too on the private chat. I love them too, you guys. Oh my. But this is problematic. You can't have your mama on national TV looking like, no. Right. But Candy looks like a squoze sausage in her outfits. Oh, so she don't let her mama look like that. Even in there. Huh? I don't like that. I don't like when people do that. Well, just, you know, hey. Uh, you know what? When when I go to when I go to BravoCon, I'm gonna try to get a picture right. with Sheree. Oh, you're gonna go to BravoCon? That's cool. And I hope she's nice IRL. Yeah. You know, who, you know who I heard is not nice in real life? Dr. Wendy. Oh, yeah. I heard I that. that. I heard that. They you're said not... she wouldn't take a picture with you unless you bought one of her candles. No I way. That. Yeah, yeah I heard, that, I heard, that shocked I heard me. Nice. Well, I actually heard that about a couple of things at um the BravoCon last year. Like there was a lot of exchanging going on for yeah. You probably got a whole garage of them stinky candles. Uh, I just want to say and LVP. LVP did what now? Oh, he no, wants I'm to saying... see Phaedra and LVP. Are you really gonna go to BravoCon? I am. I'm saving up. I love. You know what? Is it still I love LVP. I really do. They are dirty on at Beverly Hills. That's why I have so much sympathy for Garcelle, and I, I'm, I'm, I I'm standing for Garcelle. Done, I just wish LVP would have done more for Faith. Yes, I do too. That's my truest disappointment. Like she had one black time to do something and she didn't do anything. Yeah. She like cares more about dogs than a black woman's reputation and how she got treated at the, you know what I mean? When she takes so many people under her wing yeah. and just has Who's random fair? conversations. She cares um, more about yeah. dogs than people. And she said that. Yeah, you know, and specifically, obviously, black people, because these white girls start crying and she almost passes them a tissue, her and her. We can't her. say that. No, no, no. We're not going to. No, 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 no. LVP has actually done philanthropic. Philanthrop ugh. Ugh. Philanthropic works for black countries, y'all. She was at fundraising events with Garcelle, raising for Haiti, money for right? Haiti. We're yeah. not going to disrespect LVP yeah, that's like true. this. No. That's true. But I'm saying no. IRL. In real time, the specific, the only case I'm talking about is where I'm disappointed with her is that I expected her to do something more about that whole faith situation because she was in a position and had stepped in on other people's stuff and just pulled a coattail or lent Who's to faith. faith. That was the black. The only girl black girl that was on um the one that used her. to bump nipples with Lala's best friend. Remember Faith, the black one. Who was Wait. sitting on the couch when Tom Sandoval and Ariana did it? Was it Tom Sandoval and Ariana had got the couch out of the house or something? And Lala and Faith popped up. Do, you, do y'all think Sheena really did hit Raquel? Hell yeah. yeah. Yes. She did. she did. She was acting she way too nervous. She was, she was too, too aggressive. Too aggressive. Yeah. And I, when, I she was aggressive. That, when she dropped that um, restraining order last week, those were real tears, okay? She was yeah. so she thankful. She was going to jail. Right. Yeah. And you know what, she Raquel... Knew she said that shit. She knew she Ra said it. Raquel was better than me, because if somebody would have punched me, uh, -uh we would have gone to court. I don't care if it would have taken 10 years. Right? Just like Candace with Candace on the um freaking... Potomac. I would have. I was, like, so upset that the judge... Listen, I don't agree. Oh, well, well, I bet you well, Andy asked her to do that, though. To drop asked the restraining her. order? Yep. Do that and Bravo probably asked her to drop the restraining order. Yeah. But the situation about Candace and um, Monique, that was a mutual combat. 
That's what the yeah, judge Yeah, I dis- that's the only thing I disagree with you about curves about Candace Moore. I don't feel like that was mutual combat. It was a mutual combat. It you was. don't tell someone to drag you One and get mad when they put hands on you and then start no, putting hands on you. Think if I tell you to go jump off a bridge, you know damn well not to fucking do it. So you can't. Well, <laughs> actually, actually, you can't no, give we're not. Me- with some jumbly words and say I asked for you to shit in my face actually, because I said I would like stinky actually, air. It's nothing the same. It's not. nope. There's nope. a Hulu nope. series about sell- telling people things. Nope. Um, this, yes. this happened with this teenage girl. <laughs> this happened Especially with this teenage girl. in a country where you have the right to say what the F you want to you say. say. But I still have just... a right to my personal space not being invaded with your hands. She put her hands in Monique. Exactly. Oh, I'm gonna say, no. I'm gonna say oh my God. Please go back and watch. She was like dragging Monique. And she dragging. was scrolling like her, her fingers in her face. And Monique she has always said she has cross, trauma. She Monique has trauma, the, y'all. Monique got a lot of trauma. She didn't even cross the middle of the freaking table with table. her supposed put her hands in Monique's well, face. Well, her weight did. Monique well was extended it. her eight foot tarantula tentacle and grabbed that woman around three times and yep. then up through her hair. And that's why nobody could get let go because she had an imaginary eight foot rest of the arm wrapped around that bitch, not letting her go. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't no got to be glue on that wig. I can tell you that. Ooh, we gotta be. We gotta be. For that. We gotta if give. Anybody Candace. deserves an endorsement. And of all of Bravo Liberty history, it's Candace for some freaking wig glue above uh-huh. Ariana's ass. That's what I'm saying, you guys. That is shocking that Candace is out of everything. We would have thought that Candace's wig would have flopped off. <laughs> the way she did it. It stayed on, on over that table. Assault. And then how she chased her, that's a sign that it wasn't mutual fucking yeah. shit. Candace ran back. the first chance she got, and Monique chased her down. That's a sign it wasn't mutual. Yeah, and she well, hit- Candace was screaming at her, "You're fired, B. You're dead, B. You're like a ghetto was- hood rat. Yeah, B. ghetto hood well, rat. Was. Yeah. she did. It worked. But you know what, Candace? Candace also we gotta acknowledge Candace is. Candace has body shamed a lot of people on this cast. So when she was body shamed on uh, Ultimate Girl Strip, I didn't feel bad for her. Because was she has body shamed a lot of people. Comments? Yes. Yeah, she, she does has have the teeniest booty I ever saw. But she has body shamed people on this cast too. She's body shamed Ashley. She's mom shamed Ashley. Oh yeah, that was bad. She has yeah. mom shamed Ashley so many damn times on this cast. They've that all I can't said even inappropriate things. I don't know that they've... She uh, said, she how about you go? She hasn't, been, she hasn't done it more than the others. She has said, go home with your wide self. She has called Ashley a whole bunch of names on Twitter. Well, that's because she's not innocent. To Ashley, who's usually her only, the skinniest person next to, next in line to her. Mm. So their natural competition is beauty queens. Throw yep. Raquel in there. Ooh, I bet I bet she'd have something to say if Raquel gained five pounds too. Mm-hmm. That's the, another situation is I don't like, this is why I can't like Candace. And I know people say, oh no, that's not okay. I love Candace. Candace. I can't like Candace ever I since to all black she would like engage. She would engage with t- people who would tweet on Twitter and come for them. Yeah. I love it. Okay. That was I just like, it. oh no. This is reality, you love- bitch. No, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. First of all, if I were ever on reality TV, I would have gotten off of social media because I feel like I would not be able to sustain what people have to say about me. I would have gotten off of social media if I would ever be on reality TV. Yeah, <laughs> that's you know true. Fights I, you mean how reality TV fights I've been on since Twitter started? A lot. But weren't you in Twitter like when it first started? Yes, yeah, totally team Candace in here. Just like I'm team Dr. Heavenly. But I'm no, totally I'm team, team Heavenly. Myself. I'm team myself. And we are Team Candace and Team Doctor Heavenly. Okay, I'm Team Heavenly. Okay, even Doctor Heavenly says Candace has some issues. Okay, yeah, and I could still be her team because they all Dr. got Heavenly, issues. Point. Doctor Heavenly, point. Doctor Heavenly said all that children, we are all God's. Children. Candace is wrong for for calling the, the way Candace said about the dwindling uterus thing. That was oh, that was bad. Wrong. Yeah, that was very <laughs> that was wrong. When you're oh oh women are well, especially for her marriage. She spread Please. vicious lies and implied that her husband had attempted to SOA her and lure her to a place. She said she made she him feel uncomfortable. He made her feel uncomfortable. No, but how she kept repeating it 
and the drasticness of it was such that it was to cause harm and the people she said it to. So if you were really that, 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 that concerned for mm -hmm. Candace, then you would have started there. You wouldn't have went around telling everybody who had ears that would listen to your neck. Mm -hmm. You would have went okay, to I could agree with you. I so agree it was a direct listen. malicious attempt to cause harm to her union, which has been Gizzard's M.O. since she got on the show. She's mm -hmm. never had a real yeah. relationship and she always Definitely. comes from the strongest ones. Yes, Kenya did say something about Sheree's uterus, but she said, this is what Kenya said about Sheree's uterus. It does not have significance to what Candace said at all. She said that Sheree, she said, a oh, Marta out here is slinging it all over the place, impregnating people. Thank God Sheree can't get pregnant. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like this. Why is the, why did they make it, like, why is Bravo trying to edit this way to, like, make it sort of seem like Sheree could kind of be pregnant? When she went to that OB visit, made that OB ask her, are you expecting? And she was like, they expecting what? That. That's a standard question. That's a standard. No, she has. She was doing a fibroids thing. The doctor knows she has fibroids. Then, they still ask you. And then soon. she was just like, when I'm just joking. I'm just As a woman, when you go for x-rays of any kind, whether dental or for your body, and when you are sitting down to just talk about treatments, chiropractic treatment, all these things, they always ask us that question. Is there a chance you could be pregnant? Yep. And then Sheree literally went to Kenya's house and was literally like, yeah, so I went to saw me, see my OB. You know what, Kenya? I'm actually expecting. And Kenya was like, what? And she was like, no, Kenya I'm just believed kidding. it for like a second. Kenya like, really did believe that. Yeah. It was so... <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, Kenya got pregnant like much later in life too, she got right? Poor, she got pregnant at 48. Yeah, like was that her, her egg and his sperm, or was it was his egg sperm? and her? It was her egg and his sperm. It was her only egg that she had. Because yeah. I don't think like Brooklyn looks a lot like her at all. No, Brooklyn does look like her. She looks like her dad, I think. She I looks like, like her dad. Looks like her daddy. But she has Kenya's traits. You could see it. What she yells at other women and demeans them. No, <laughs> don't you dare! Don't you dare say that about Kenya but anymore. No, true. no, it's true. It's <laughs> but Brooklyn does, does look like Kenya, way, though. Does she find a way to try to take a, take other kids down by the ankles at the playground? I hope not. Oh my lord, I would hope not. But I love Brooklyn, though. She's so adorable. She is she adorable. adorable now. But wait till she start acting like a mama. Mm. You know, it's interesting. Like Brooklyn looks more like PJ than like Kenya. Aren't they friends? They're friends. Yeah. And you know, Brooklyn's boyfriend is actually Eva's son, y'all. <laughs> Eva's son? Yes. Oh, the little Michael one? He's so cute. <laughs> What's going on with her divorce? I heard that he finally was like, instead of being on fighting for her, he went and got an attorney or something. This whole situation about Eva, I feel so bad for her. Me As I've always said, Eva's a very beautiful woman. I don't even know. A beautiful, very beautiful woman. I don't even know what he would see in another woman to leave Eva to go cheat. Right? Eva's the Eva's the type of woman that you would cheat with and not on. Okay, I'm sorry. Right. Hello. It's just the truth. Eva's Eva's too gorgeous. Gorgeous. To okay. And I'm Wait, sure she does it very well. She looks like she has a high freak number. <laughs> and they were just together at BravoCon, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. And even in the gross trip, Eva, the way she talked about him was like everything seemed fine, you know? Keeping up appearances. Yes. Uh, like, mm -mm. But you know well, what? I just hate some that shady, it's some another, shady gigs. Like, I have some friends that are like single moms because the relationships didn't work out and they end up with the kids. And it's just like, I'm like, ooh, I, I have two and help. And my hat's off to you that you have to do this by yourself. And there's four. You know what I'm saying? Or there's five or there's seven. You know what I mean? Like, and you have to do it all by yourself and you're a single mom and, but you still want love and you still, and it's just, oh my God. Oh my God. So like, I hope that it's for a great reason 
that they have to break up their family because it's going to be hard for her raising four children by herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not an easy undertaking. It's not. So isn't she, doesn't she want sole custody? Aren't they both wanting the sole custody thing? I don't know why she just. No, I think they're doing shared. Aren't they doing shared? Oh, that's good. I hope because so. He's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy at all. Yeah, I don't think he's a that bad of a guy. But he allegedly yeah, cheated. He on though. The reality show with her. That showed he really loved her. He risked his political career, and it went down because of it. I think. But yeah, uh, and I mean to adopt to adopt a child that's not yours, also. Right. Like that was with, with that crazy. What what's his name? Kevin McCall. Oh yeah, he was fine and crazy. Ooh, mm -hmm. fine and crazy. He must have put the capaya on Eva. No, Kevin is very crazy, y'all. He's not. Mm -mm. That's not but you know Kevin. what? I don't want to see Eva back on the show. Yeah, no, I just want to see her on all the Queen's Men and on anything like it. Have you guys seen her movie Hello? No. No. I've oh, seen all the Queen's Men though. All the Queen's Men love it. Madam is everything to me. Um, and then she had this movie called Hello. That's very good. I think it's on Netflix. You guys should maybe check it out. It's pretty good. It's unexpected. I was like, really? And I can usually figure out a movie. And I did not see that coming at the end. I didn't even see it coming at the end. I guys, was like, I'm going to go, okay. guys. I'm going to go, guys. Okay. Right on, Sebastian. Thanks I'm going to go to Diva's Trending Topics. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be problematic because Wendy Williams is one of those topics. And, you know, I don't play when it comes to Wendy, so... I'm well, a I'm gonna go because I'm gonna watch Orange County, see what this new season looks like. Oh God. Okay. Well, I look forward to hearing back from you guys. Thanks for coming through. Be sure Bye. and go through and smash their buttons over at Manny's TV and Sebastian says, you know Bye. their fellow Kirby. Bye, you guys. Bye, Kirby. Bye, Corey. Love you. That was nice. It was. I'm glad they had us touch down right around three hours, girl. I That's know. a good touchdown time. So thank you for coming through. Everybody go through and smash Corey's buttons at Lola Lane in these YouTube streets. And Corey, you have any final thoughts? Um, no. Me neither. This has been a nice, robust conversation. Thanks for coming through. Leave a comment, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring my bell. So you can get notified next time I upload a video. And so you can become part of this beautiful curvy community that we're growing over here in these YouTube streets, you guys. I have a good celebrity interview scheduled for later this month. So keep an eye out. Okay. See you later. Bye.